and welcome everyone to another episode of Towers and Gods. Let me play some music here, but happy to have you all. We're super excited, episode seven today. Finally getting into the classes, hopefully, unless, you know, we spend another few hours on, on this night, which I'm totally fine with too. But I'm super excited. So today, as usual, we're joined by our wonderful cast members. We've got Isaiah. Hello, I am Isaiah and I play Gasu. We have Milios. Hello, Brack. <laughs> we got Wu. <laughs> Mic drop moment. It's, it's, right. it's Wu. I play Wu. Right. So I... <laughs> we gotta restart now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, to the top. <laughs> play the intro again. Oh my right. goodness. We have Hannah. Hello, I'm Hannah and I play Eden. And we have Other Joe. Hello, my name is uh, not real, not by birth, Other Joe, but I am. My name right. is Other Joe and I play Cal Damien Frog. Don't tell him you play Cal. Come on now. We want, yeah, we want people to come to after that. you now. Yeah, no one needs to hear that. <laughs> but but yeah, so we're super excited to be back. Um, for those of you who don't know, we've been doing weekly episodes for a little while now, which has been really fun, you know, really great. Feels like it's helping the story and everything flesh out even more. Um, and also, as a heads up, this is our last session before we go on a two week break, and then we'll be back after the holidays, after New Year's and all that. So yeah, we're super excited. Um, got a lot of people in the chat here. As usual, if you want to participate in the show, we have a Discord link down below where you can submit memes and fan art. I gotta take a second because <laughs> there's been a lot of amazing stuff lately. Obviously, most of it you'll see during the break with the memes and fan art and all that. But Ross, shout out to Ross, who's he? Uh, this you know, Ross wrote an entire light novel of episode one of the series, which is insane. So shout out, I couldn't put that in the memes in, uh, in the break, obviously, but I wanted to give a shout out to Ross, um, all the people who are making amazing fan art as usual. And it's just super great, super awesome. Also, quick little update. Uh, don't really know how to talk about this, but uh, Gasu has an update with his sword. This is his new look. If you don't know what he looked like before, his sword looked like, a, it just looked like a sword, but this is how it was supposed to look. Cool, all right. That totally wasn't a mistake on my end. It's not like that was sitting in the background for <laughs> seven episodes or anything until I finally noticed it. Not at all. But yeah, how are you all feeling coming into episode seven? Excited. I'm nervous. Sensational. <laughs> I'm a little hey, nervous. Cool. I'm a little nervous. Mortified. <laughs> <laughs> Mortified, cool, cool, cool. It was, a bit, it was a bit of a cliffhanger, unexpectedly, so I'm a little bit nervous to see how things play out. That's true. Yeah. Right. I, I feel like uh, Victor won't be recommending any dice games anytime soon. So. Nah, I'm going I'm to force him. I'm going to force him. <laughs> <laughs> playing. He, uh, he used to, to like games until this all happened. Yeah. It's all over now. Yeah. No so, more dice games. <laughs> The, the last episode, we, we ended off on the dice game where everyone was revealing their secrets. Not gonna say it all now, but it was quite a series of events. It was quite the roller coaster. So if you haven't seen that episode yet, you can always check that out afterward. Um, obviously episode six, it was crazy. But yeah, today we're picking up right where we left off with all of the regulars splitting up, leaving Victor all alone, all by himself in that room, um, in the common room. And I know Eden left the room. Damien ended up going after her um, after everything that had happened. So I'm going to say at this point, it's, it's maybe like 9 p.m. It's like an hour before curfew. And I'm going to pass it along to you all. Like, Because, um, I, again, I really don't have any plans. It's up to you if you want to continue going for the night. Uh, so, yeah. Anyone want to want to take the wheel? What time did you say it was? 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. We'll say there's an hour left. Or if you said to, okay, there we go. Right, right. Forgot who it was who had the strawberry drink, but that's I feel me. that I'm taking it back, bro. I'm taking it back. Nah, nah, I gotta talk <laughs> you out of it somehow. Like, like it's okay. It's Damien. He'll find. It. He'll figure it out. He'll figure out a way to get out of it. I, I, I needs that though. Yeah, All whatever right. happened with that case? So, so you have the case of of the strawberry. I have the so case. Okay, I have the case. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
All right, you want to start there? Then fine. I'm sure. walking the case back to the vending machine because Scopia is already mad at me. Right. Brock, clearly not happy with that. Sure. Nah, I'm fo I'm following behind Wu, and I'm like Wu. If I just take two, <laughs> no one will ever know. Brock, I told you I'd buy you some in the morning. We can get them. The morning is not now. You I need just time. had one. I'm a big boy. I need more. I need more. Okay. Here's Before. what we're gonna do. I'm putting the case by the vending machine. I brought it back. Whatever you want to do now has nothing to do with me. Scopio! I know you're listening. I have nothing to do with this. All you, my guy. All you. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. So, where is this scene taking place? Like, what room? I think it's, um, like, in the hallway to the cafeteria. Okay. Yeah. Sure. One of the vending machines is just kind of yeah, on yeah. the way. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So you don't get a response from Scopio, but you do You do notice there are a couple cameras up there, and you get the feeling that eyes are on you. I look at the, I look up at the camera. <laughs> I smile. I reach down for the box. I crack it open. I take out two drinks. I look, wave at the camera, and then I walk away as I crack one open, <laughs> drinking it as I'm going down the hall. <laughs> Like, are we both gonna lose points, or am I just gonna lose points? Hey, Brock, don't care at this point. He's just getting what he wants. <laughs> That's fair. Simple man of simple desires. <laughs> right, right. Uh, okay, cool. Afterwards, do you all just do you return to your rooms, uh, Brack and Woo? I'm tired. Yeah, I'm going to my. I'm going back to my room. Yes, Brack is walking back to his room. All right, excellent. So, Eden, you went straight to your room. Correct after the incident went down, so you're yeah. so you're currently in there, and Damien, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to you. Okay. I knock on the door, even though I have a key to the room. I knock on the door. Okay. No response. Eden, is everything all right? No response. I enter. I enter. Okay. As you enter the room, you get a very strong smell of like bile, like she is thrown up in the restroom, and you see her curled up in her blanket, back facing the door, herself facing the wall on her bed. Oh, jeez. Is she? Do I know if Eden's awake? You can't Eden? see her. You, you can't see her face. <laughs> Right. Can't tell. Eden, is everything all right? I mean, clearly not, but I mean, I just... Is there anything I can do to help right now? I'll be okay. Can I get okay. you a water? I'll, I'll be okay, Damien. Okay. That'll, that'll be all right. Thanks, all right. though. If there's anything I can do. Or if you just if you just want to talk about it, I'm you see, here. You see her kind of shift a little bit, and you see she sighs really big and kind of flips her legs over. She's still kind of wrapped up in her blanket, though, and she looks like somebody that just had like a terrible stomach flu. She's pale, kind of clammy. Her hair's a mess. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry about that, Damien. I, uh... <sighs> you... I didn't... You don't... <sighs> Go ahead, sorry. No, you're, you're fine. I... I just didn't think... I hadn't thought about... that for a very long time. And, uh... I, uh... I didn't think it was going to affect me that hard. And, um, and it just kind of like hit me out of nowhere. And I'm sorry I lost my composure. Um, I'm sure I worried all of you. So um, I'm sorry about that. You have nothing to be sorry for. <sighs> I have a lot to be sorry for. 
if if anything, I'm sorry it had to be brought up in such a way. No, I... I, I thought I was going to get a chuckle out of everyone, but I, I think I played myself. Life is strange. That I agree with. <laughs> it sure is weird how things end up, especially in the tower. Yeah, especially in the tower. <laughs> you know but what I... makes me feel a little bit better sometimes? What is that, Damien? Setting something on fire. Okay, we've talked about this. But like I've I've It I... does it does feel kind of good though. Damien. What if we contain it to this 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 trash can here? Damien, remember the rule I put in place yesterday about us being roommates? Remember yes. I said no fire? I thought that was more of a guideline than a rule. No, that's a that's <laughs> it's 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 a rule. It, it, it's it's mm, it's a rule that we're gonna have and we're gonna have an allegiance in that. And look, I don't want you losing points for any reason, especially if it's pyro related. I don't think Scopio would take too kindly to you setting tower property on fire outside of it, like a test area. So let's. Um, I get an idea. What if I just set all of my stuff on fire then? But why would you do that? Because it's fire. It'll make oh. us feel better. No, no, it won't. Us I... plural. Are you talking about you and Horace Velger and leaving me out of the equation, or? No, 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 no. I don't even know where Horace Velger is right now. Wait, where's Horace Velger? Uh, you sent him off to get more people, last I remember. So. You said oh, no. he was. Uh, well, uh, you've got time before curfew. You might want to find him. Eh, he'll be fine. He's his oh. own frog. But what if he's out after curfew? Technically, didn't Scopio rule that he could wear the crown, so therefore he's part of you? So if he breaks curfew, you're going to get in trouble? Horace Felger well, doesn't have points. In my brain, I considered it as Horace Felger was his own entity, which is why he counted as a fourth member of my team on the crown game. Therefore, Horace Felger would lose points and not me. But did Horace Felger get awarded points? Did you ask him? <laughs> That Does Horace Felger even have a pocket? Horace Felger it has a lot of things that might surprise you. I do and don't want to know the answer to that question, but we're going to let that go for now. Yeah, yeah. You Let's might just want to assume Let's that Horace Felger is okay. Do you and want me to help you go look for him? Uh, no. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. And for the record, it, it I'm happy to see you more engaged. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. I think I think all of that has passed. And also, you know, maybe the food here kinda had something to do with it, because I never felt good after eating the breakfast this morning. Or yeah. So, um, yeah. I'll blame it on that. <laughs> Wait. We only ate breakfast. Yes. It wasn't very good. We skip second breakfast and lunch and second lunch and dinner and third dinner and fourth and dessert? How? Wait. Let me go get you dessert. No, I... Damien. I kind of like ground by the shoulders. Like, I get up real quick. I'm like, I don't need any more food for tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Plus, I think the cafeteria is closed. So we're good. We're good. How about you and I take a nice little evening walk before curfew together and we'll go find Horace Velger. All right? That sounds delightful. Okay. Let's and go do that. Around this time when you're preparing to leave the room and you shut the door, uh, Eden, you receive a notification on your pocket. I'm gonna, just going to send you a little message oh. in our private chat. Um, but the thing pops up for a second. Oh, and it's... I forgot to say who it's from. Uh, I misspelled it, but you get the idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. mysterious. So if you were... Uh, Dam Damien, I, I think I know where Horace Velger is. Really? You know where a three-inch frog would be at this time of night? Yeah, 
maybe I just you know I maybe have I I might have just gotten some intel on him. Um, we're well, gonna need to he? go. We're gonna need to go back to the common area. Um, Victor just sent me a message that. Oh shoot! Up oh, my Discord decided to do a little update. We're back. And he's and he's back. <laughs> Discord decided to do a little update right then. That's fun. Oh, that's so annoying. Back, We're good. Okay. Oh, wait, I got to turn on my camera, don't I? Ha ha. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we We're go. Good. We're good. Ta-da! At least it was really quick. Jeez. Yes. Um, Victor just sent me a message that a bunch of regulars showed up with being led by Price. So I think we might need to go collect him. All right. Well, how many people can it be? He said a whole bunch, so... A we'll bunch? Go... Yeah, let me... So she, she like runs in the bathroom like, yeah. makes herself presentable real quick. Sure. All, all right, Damien. And she, like, as they're starting to walk out, she, like, kind of hugs him from behind. Oh. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. And lets him go. All right, let's go collect your frog. <laughs> and just kind of so... marches out in front of him. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. You're, you make your way back to the common room. Um, you don't see Wu or Brack at this point. Everyone, you know, assuming they went back to their rooms. But when you enter, you re-enter the common room, you hear a lot of talking coming from the inside, a lot of like shouting and stuff. And when you open the door, you see like 10 or 12 regulars all gathered in like four different circles and they're all throwing down dice. And they're all like, ah, come on. <laughs> and you see Victor is just kind of sitting on one of the couches, kind of like looking down. And in the middle of all the action, after kind of looking around a little bit more, uh, you see Hrace Velger, uh, you know, doing his best to throw some dice as well. Oh. Hrace Velger! <laughs> Hrace Velger started a crap game. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on here? <laughs> he runs the Ribbit Ribbits. <laughs> what do you mean, Ribbit Ribbit Ribbit? <laughs> Oh, no, uh, Damien, oh, what is, oh, gosh. Everybody stop playing, he's a cheating frog. Uh, oh. Is this your frog? Says one of the regulars. No. <laughs> he's his own frog. Oh, boy. But he's my best friend. Uh, well, not then, to be. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. No, I was in, not to be a party pooper, but we have about. 20 minutes till curfew, everyone, so maybe we should wrap all of this up, right? They they start looking at each other, and they're, one more round, one more round. Yeah, yeah, and then they start throwing down dice again. Oh, boy. And they're betting whatever they have on hand, you know? But Victor walks over with his hands in his pockets and is just kind of like, yeah, surprised me too. This little guy came out of nowhere with everyone just following him in a straight line. It was kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. Dick. Damien Victor, what, doesn't follow orders that well. Victor, what are they betting? Uh, tch, you tell me. Some of them are betting food that they snuck out of the cafeteria, pieces of clothing. It's very odd. Don't ask me. Uh, yeah, that is... I was going to say, what are the, the piles of things? Okay. It wasn't as interesting as our game earlier, you know? Oh, you, you yeah, that's you, you, can't, you can't sell my scissors! No! <laughs> Oh boy. Rice Velger, no! No! That's mine! That doesn't belong to you! I'm starting to wonder if Rice Velger owns Damien rather than Damien owning her Rice Velger. <laughs> yeah. so she kind of like leans over and whispers that to Victor. Yeah. It's over. Everybody go go back to your room. <laughs> they all just stare at you and then go back to their game. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to stop this, Eden. <laughs> how about. Collect your frog, he's your anima, and we go back to our room. They right. can, of course. whatever they bet is on them. It's not going to race, is it? You're Wait, right. is it? If is all, I that, can, is if all I that can going to race? If all, if I can summon Horace Vilger, of course I can unsummon Horace Vilger. You, you notice that Horace Vilger has like a random assortment of items like near, near to his uh, chip pile as well, like very random, like probably mostly useless garbage just piled up next to him. Oh boy. Um, uh, uh, fellow regulars, hi, not to barge in again, haha. <laughs> um, are you, 
Are these piles that you have, are those going between you, or are they going to the frog? What do you care? Just leave us be. Come on. We're enjoying our time before the tests or the classes begin tomorrow. Okay, um... Victor, are those your dice? I just found them in this room. Like, they don't belong to oh. me. Dang it. Okay, uh... Just leave them be. It doesn't matter if they lose points. Come on. Okay. Uh, Damien, collect your frog. We're gonna go. Yes, we All are of us, going. All us three are gonna I, I, go. Yeah, we're out of here. Good night, right. fellow regulars. Have, Have a, a good wonderful night, night. See you yeah, in class tomorrow. I, yeah, uh-huh. I, I link think. arms with both the guys, and I'm, like, Wait. dragging them out. <laughs> I take I take off my cape, and I, and I kidnap Reese Filker. <laughs> <laughs> and get him away from the game. <laughs> Just bundle him up really quick. <laughs> Any bets the frog has are now null and void. Good night, everyone. <laughs> I'm like dragging them with me. <laughs> Except this chocolate bar. This chocolate bar is is, is ours uh, now. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Good night. Hey, good night. Uh, okay. And you all, you all leave the corner. The <laughs> yep. Like, you, oh. you exit as fast as you can. <sighs> I can hit a ribbit now. <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Uh, crisis avoided. Yeah. Um, you still have your scissors. You still have your things. I hope Grace wasn't betting for you, Victor. No, I stopped playing. Don't worry. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, <sighs> thank you for the message earlier, Victor. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I was just a little caught off guard, you know, but... Yeah, and, I'm... and you know, me telling us about Grace's escapades, we'll put it that way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed, though, so... Okay. And she like, before he, before he kind of goes, she kind of grabs his hand and like gives him a hug as well. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up. That was all on me. You're right. And he <laughs> just gives a little smile. He's kind of just surprised by the hug. And then he walks away. I put my hand on my mouth. I'm like, oh, oh. is there something going on between you two? Oh my <laughs> gosh, Damien, no. What? I, I can give hugs to people. Doesn't mean there's anything romantic going on. Very true. I, yeah, I just gave you a hug. Did I go, oh, Damien, oh, are we an item? No, we didn't I, do I, that. I, wait, I... Mm. Unless you I, liked it. That she was not my up. She crosses her arm and gives him a very quizzical, cocky <laughs> hug. I'm going to bed. Oh. <laughs> Please smoke your bed. <laughs> He's in your cloak. He has to go with you. I have a. We share the same room. <laughs> I run after him. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. So you all head back to your room. You know, uh, escapades along the way. And I'm gonna say, uh, so Brack, you went back to your room. Uh, actually, we're gonna cut to Gasu. Gasu, you went back to your room, correct? Correct. So, and Wu, you went straight back. Yep. All right. Um, in case you want to have an interaction, I'll leave that to you guys. You, Wu enters the room. Okay. Uh, when Wu walks into the room, he notices that Gasu is staring, like just sitting down on his bed, staring at his sword, but he looks like incredibly focused. Uh, Gasu? Yo? Uh, damn, he probably doesn't want to be bothered. Gasu! Wu, what is it? Uh, so, what happened back there? Are you good? Me? Yeah, why wouldn't I be good? And Gasu looks, like, genuinely confused as if that event did not just happen, you know, a couple minutes ago. All right, I mean, I, I, you don't want to talk about it, right? It's fine. I, I always knew that there was something like that going on, but, I mean, I'm here if you want to talk about it, man. Woo. Everything I told Victor, well, most of it, it wasn't true. Uh, excuse me? The truth is, I don't actually know who killed my master. I just said that to scare him. Oh! Wait, wait. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Rewind! And yeah, start again. I don't know what I don't know what they missed. Just say what you said again, bro. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Why would you lie about that? You said, where did you even get that information? Why do you even hate him so much if that's not true? Look, Victor, he has information, information that I need. I said that to see his reaction. I need to know the kind of people he's connected to. If he's connected to the kind of, of coons that I think he is, well. So this was never about your master? This interaction, no. My master was killed by somebody that I don't know, and I do intend to avenge him, but not today. Okay, and are you still heading out in 20 minutes, or...? Yeah. Why? One sec, man. One sec, one sec. I pull out my gourd. Um... You're acting kind of weird, Gasu. I thought... <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Uh... I, I'm Ooh. just gonna need you to be honest with me here. Gasu sort of stands up from the bed and grabs his sword and... She's the sword. What? Whoa. Trust me. Everything will be fine. And then as he says that, he makes way towards the door and starts to walk out. I grab him by the shoulder. You realize that you don't have to bear everything alone, right? Trust me, Wu. Your concerns, your worries, they're wasted on someone like me. I don't believe that, man, but I'm not going to push you either. I'm going to be here when you're ready. I let him go. You guys are sort of like shakes his, nods his head and then continues to walk out. Okay. Brack, you receive a message a couple minutes before all this happens. I put it in the chat uh, in our little private one in the Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to cut back to you. Um, so at this point, you were in your room. I'm going to say, like, you receive the notification, and then right when you do, the door opens. Victor comes in. He kind of just shakes his head and shuts the door and kind of just sits down on his bed. I look over at him as I'm taking a sip. Long night for you, huh, blue hair? Uh, no, I just wanted everyone to have a good time and feel like it kind of... Backfired is all, but backfired like in what way? Bother me, you know. Well, you were there. I mean, clearly Eden was upset, and I mean, I expect as much from Gasu, but I feel like any chance at rekindling our relationship is ruined. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what to think. Uh, I think you and the uh, the cloaked one. There was no chance of you rekindling your relationship. As a matter of fact, I think there may be something that I might need to go do in a little bit. Go do? It's almost curfew. Uh, I, I'm a guy of mystery. I like to go do many things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, do what you got to do, man. I'm not going to stop you. All right. Uh, try not to stay up too late, kid. I hit the oh, door and I uh, start to make my way up. Right before he leaves, hey, Brack. If I don't, if you don't mind me asking, what was your father's name? His name was Kane. Kane Song. Why did you ask? Just wondering if I'd ever heard of him. There's a chance that you might have. He was one of the most powerful rankers in the tower. But. I uh, haven't seen him in a while, so don't know how well that stacks up. And then I proceed to leave out. Okay, sure, sure. I sure. kind of say blase as I'm walking out the door. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So you leave the room, the door automatically shuts. And I'm going to say at this point, it's like going on 10 o'clock. What do you, you want to do, Brack, really quick? Uh, I walk over to Wu and uh, Gasu's room to like okay. give Gasu the heads up like I'm out. So you're like knocking on their door? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So Wu, Gasu, you hear that knock? Or wait, Gasu, you're not there. Gasu, or, uh, yeah, Gasu, yeah, Gasu was- I'll, I'll leaving. As, Oh, you're leaving? Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I was leaving with that interaction with Wu. I walked out of Got you. So actually, so I'm going to say Brack. Brack yeah. yeah, you guys cross paths. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So on your way to the room, Brack, you see Gasu walking down the hall towards you. I asked Gasu. Even though he told me already, just to reconfirm. So you're just going to talk to him. Yeah. I just need information. Nothing serious. I'm saying if you want to get serious, I still owe him a lick. So we we can do something. I mean, it could be a plank, you know, take his leg. He don't need it. He's a he's a family head. It would Scorpio would never know. What, what would he what would he do? He likes to stab people in the back. He's a scorpion for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, we could come on. What, what do you say? You hear a this... distant echo, my name is Scopio. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time. <laughs> you really got have eyes everywhere. <laughs> and ears. I thought you were a fisherman! <laughs> uh, so, at Brack's remark, you see Gasu, like, genuinely chuckle. Like, he found that remark funny. Mm. And then he walks, okay. as he walks past Brack, he sort of, like, taps him on the shoulder. Maybe next time, big guy. But I'll so... handle this one alone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, also, because it's, like, reaching 10 o'clock, suddenly you all hear, like, a ton of noise. And coming down the hall, a bunch of regulars are running down the halls and, like, getting to their rooms and scrambling for their key cards. Um, and you all are... You both are pretty surprised because you don't know where they're coming from. Uh, but one of them kind of slithers on over to you. It's Cobra, the snake guy. Oh, hello there. You're out of... It's almost curfew. What are you up to? Is he talking to me or Brad? Both of you. Oh, okay. You do realize it's almost care for you, right? He's just kind of like walking or slithering by you. I feel bad for what I'm about to do, but this is something that Brack would do. <laughs> oh, no. What's yeah. it to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why is Brack such a savage, bro? <laughs> He just kind of startled, you know, he's a little surprised. <laughs> he just kind of slithers on by, doesn't, you know. He was going to say something, but is too surprised to even come. Yasu, Gasu also looks, like, incredibly bewildered about what just happened. <laughs> well, that went better than I expected. Well, since it's almost curfew, and I pretty much left out my room to come get you. We might as well just go ahead and walk back so that you can handle your talk. And then I nudge Gasu like, you know, talk <laughs> really it could be, you know. <laughs> Gasu, Gasu, <laughs> Gasu sort of grabs Brack's arm. Brack, if I could give you just a little bit of honest advice, you might benefit from being a little more low key sometimes. Loki has never gotten me anywhere. <laughs> and Brack just turns his nose up at that cop. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's go. All right. All right, cool. So, so, Brack, you head to Wu's room? No, 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 no. I'm going back to my room with uh, Gasu. Mm -hmm. Both of you are going back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both of you walk back. Go ahead and uh, do you knock on the door. Gasu, Brack, you know. I don't go in, I just wait outside. You wait outside. I, I want Victor to visibly see me like just hanging on a wall. <laughs> and you. as the door open, I wave at him like, and I smile. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So, so he does open, so do you knock Gasu or uh, Brack you uh, just open well, it? Yeah, I'm assuming Brack could Yeah, you, I just open the door for him. The, the door. All right, the door yeah. opens. Victor, he kind of looks up, expecting Brack, and then kind of does a like, double take when he sees Gasu. Um, and before Gasu says anything to Victor, I would like to roll for intimidation. Okay. Mm. That kind of talk. Okay. Mm. I'm going to okay, do this so a little. Uh, let's see, let's see. So Ooh, 19. Usually, oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Cool. Gasu's bringing his intimidation card. Um, 
I think normally the way it would work, uh, just for future reference, is you'd probably like say the intimidating, try to say the intimidating thing, and then you'd roll, and then it'd be like, what was the reaction? Oh, and then roll. Uh, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, yeah. I got you. I got you. It was my bad. My but all good. Uh, go ahead and uh, yeah. Okay. So Gasu walks in and he pulls his sword out, and then as he approaches Victor, sort of puts the blade up against his chest. All right, Coon. We need to talk. Do you want? Do you want this to be private? Isaiah, meta game. I think yeah. I would like it to be private. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. If everyone could mute except for Isaiah. Bye, everyone. Oh, yeah, true. Bye. We'll see you in a couple minutes. All right. So, so you have the sword up against his his neck. You said, or like right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because he's like, sit, what is he sitting on his bed? He what? He he stood up when you walked towards him. Okay, so yeah, we'll say that he Gasu's like leaning up against him, putting the sword up to his neck. Got you. Okay. Listen here, Kuhn. First things first. Everything I told you in that game wasn't true. A Kuhn isn't responsible for the person that killed my master. Quite frankly, I don't know who that is. However, I'm looking for a different answer, and it's one that I think you can give me. I need you to tell me everything you know about Melody Say. Me Wait, guys, can uh, And you can notice he's definitely like a little bit surprised by this sudden interaction, but he just says, oh, okay, can we, can we do it a little more cordially? Man, he looks down at the sword. That depends. Do you plan on lying to me? I've, when have I ever lied to you, man? I'll tell you what you need to know. <laughs> Listen here, Coon. If I actually believed a single word that someone like you said to me, I'd be dead already. I'm going to keep this sword right here, right next to your throat, so that you have a visual cue that the second I think you're lying to me, you're dead. Don't think that I won't waste a couple points. You know, they might, the points you, the points you would lose might even kick you out of this floor, you know. Oh, it sounds like it would be my problem and not yours, doesn't it? Gasu, I don't want to make you angry, but I'm not going to talk unless you lower this sword. But I will talk. And if I lie, then you can attack me, cut off my head, whatever you want to do. I'll talk. But just lower the sword. Gasu sort of like quickly flourishes his sword away from Victor's throat and puts it in the sheath. I feel like it's probably like a little nick or something. How close yeah. it was. <sighs> Much better. You want some coffee? Ah, never mind. They don't serve us coffee. And he just sits down on his bed, motions at the bed across from him. And Gasu just walks over to Victor's bed and he remains like stood up. Melody Say. She's a coon. I know that much. I know that she married into the family. And I know that she died. And it was a part of what well, usually takes place in our fam. In, in... Look. Me and the rest of my Kuhn brothers and sisters. Our family is complicated. Sometimes stuff lightly. like this just happens. I don't know exactly what happened. But I know she's gone. Who did it, Victor? Who's responsible? I don't participate in this kind of thing with my family. I went through the trials and tribulations. I went through tests. I went through everything I needed to get through. And after that, I was done with politics and with, honestly, everything with my family. All right? In that way... At that, at that line, Gasu kind of explodes and he, like, throws his hand back and kind of smacks Victor. I said, don't lie to me! <sighs> Look, Gasu. <sighs> I know about you. I've known this whole time. 
Ningasu sort of like, as, as he says that, instinctively reaches for his sword. You know I'm what? Not... You know what I know. And I'm not here to bring up anything bad. I'm here to answer your questions just like you wanted. I've answered honestly from the very beginning. I'm a nice guy. I'm a friendly guy. Okay? I'm not going to fight you or anything like that. From the beginning, all I've wanted is some strong teammates. And after finding out that you all are more than just a little strong, I've wanted to stick around. Is that so wrong? Does that offend you so? Because my hair is blue? Come on, Gasu. All right. Let's make a deal. You can stay with this team, and I'll even agree to work with you. If you help me track down who killed Melody Say. Not who killed Song Hoon? And Gasu like sort of squints when he says his name. No, you let me worry about that. Besides, it's your family connections that'll matter more in terms of finding out who killed Melody. He reaches out his hand. Like, like to shake a hand? Like, to shake your, yeah. Okay. So Gasu grabs his hand and as he goes to shake it, like pulls him in and then grabs him by the neck. But let me make one thing very, very clear. If I even think that you have a reason to betray this team, I will take your head off right where you're standing. Is that I'm on clear? condition. If I think the same. And Gasu sort of smiles at him. I welcome it. And then he, he like sort of, you know, he right. releases his, his grip off of Victor. Also, that girl, Eden, I don't know what you have going on, but keep her out of it. I, I, I there's nothing, nothing going on, but. Good. Whatever you say, man. Keep it that way. The more people that get entangled with these coons, the better. And Ngasu sort of like grabs, you know, goes to grab his, his sheed sword and, and put it back on his, uh, like his waist. Good talk, coon. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Pardon. Or he says, I, like, as he's, you know, as he's walking out, he says that and then goes for the okay. door. Hope we can get along soon as you're shutting the door. All right, let me tag everyone. Returneth, I have. Good. Same Zs. Oh, that was so painful, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what happened, but there was a lot of there was a lot of hand movement. A lot of hand movement. <laughs> oh shoot, y'all are watching the screen. That's cheating. Of course. <laughs> what? You're streaming I'm, on, I'm Discord. Cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. on Discord. I'm cheating. We can't I'm not messing. look. I'm messing. I'm, messing. I'm, messing. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to read lips though. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. The next time, I'll just start using sign language. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works. That works. All right. Cool. Oh, so, uh, Brack, you're standing outside the door. Uh, I, am, I imagine you're probably curious, but you can't hear anything uh, from from inside the room. And uh, but then suddenly the door opens up, and Gosu walks out. Did you beat him up? In a manner of speaking. Thanks again, Brack. No problem. Next time, tag me in. <laughs> yeah, next time. And Ngasu sort of makes way back to his room. Okay, perfect. So as you both make your way back into your rooms, uh, both of your pockets pop up and for Gasu and Brack. And you see that the previous point total you had, you see a minus 10. So Gasu, you're now at oh. 110 points and Brack, you're at... 190. Whatever. And it's ah! just... <laughs>
You that didn't get me for the drink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Instantly, no, I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> another ten points to die. Right. <laughs> Aren't the drinks worth more than that, though? Shoot, if that's the case, I got off light. I take. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's that's all the back end, bro. You'll, you'll lose those points. Trust me. Hope you don't play. Uh, okay, so. I'm gonna say everyone heads to their rooms, you know. Some of you, I'm sure, have a lot to think about, but you sleep as best you can. The beds are serviceable, not very comfortable, but whatever. They 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 do their job. And at around 8 a.m., suddenly boop, doop, 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 the pockets start going off in this like alarm sound. And it says, class in one hour, class in one hour. They said it would be 30 minutes before. I slapped my pocket. <laughs> Rise and shine. Just for the sake of time, I'm gonna say you all get ready and, you know, unless you wanna say something. Uh, okay, sorry, really quick. The, the pockets do say, um, meet at the office. I had forgotten uh, that detail. Do we not get to eat breakfast? Like so, I mean, you, you get ready, and, and when you're walking by, you do notice the cafeteria doors are open. But you get the impression, you see a couple regulars in there, you get the impression that it's, like, an optional meal for you all. Option. Right. Oh, well, and Brax voice. If you choose Option. to sleep in, for example, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> for Brax, it's like, what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> Do I notice so, anybody I know in the cafeteria? Um, you see Shion is <gasps> eating bake uh well, it'd probably be like oatmeal this time. Not not very good food, you know. Just very is simple, there anyone, I should say. Is there anyone lined up? No. It's only a couple of regulars in there at this time. Mm, I run and get a banana. Okay, sure. Sounds good. And most of the other regulars, you know, time goes by. If you want to eat, you eat in the in the cafeteria, whatever. We'll save any conversations for lunchtime. But then as you exit, you see a bunch of regulars starting to head towards the office. Um, the office area on the map. I'm actually going to show Rule 20 just so people who are watching can get an idea. And I'm going to say, um, and, you know, if something's different, just let me know. But you all eventually, I'm going to say maybe 10 minutes before class, join in the crowd and head towards the offices. And right outside the office hallway door is Scopio. And he's standing there with his arms behind his back. <sighs> Welcome regulars. Today is the first day your classes will begin. Behind me, any motions, is an elevator that will take you to your respect respective class. Each floor is dedicated to each position. Currently, we are on the first floor. Fishermen, you will go to the second floor every day. Spear bearers, the third floor. Light bearers, the fourth. Scouts, the fifth. Wave controllers, the sixth floor. Any questions regarding that can be directed later because we don't have much time today. Today and only today, I will be here to guide you in this process, but in the future, it is entirely your responsibility to arrive on time for class as well as make it to the proper hall and the proper floor. And he waits a couple more minutes just to make sure all the regulars are here. And at this time, while you're waiting, I'm gonna say, uh, Eden, you you notice someone walk up behind you. And he says, <laughs> well, hello there. Eden is just kind of like, she's kind of like, ah. Let's out a sigh. Her hair is still a mess. She bed head. She's got her hoodie on. It's the morning. Sure. She just kind of turns around. What do you want, Cal? Just wanted to say hi. I'm so disappointed we're not in the same class. But I guess that's how it is. You know. But mm -hmm. I did hear that one of your friends is in my class. Wu. Mm -hmm. Is that his name? Mm-hmm. You know, rumor has it he lost a couple points sometime. So, I don't know. I'd be worried if I were you, especially with someone like me participating in the class. 
Oh, and just how many points do you have, Cal? Considering your extraordinary performance during the crown game. That's something I don't need to share, but it's a mm. lot. It's a lot. Don't underestimate me, you know? Probably not as much as me, but sure. Yeah, because you cheated to win the crown game. Oh, how did I cheat, Cal? By, by doing it in a duel? I mean, come on, how lame is that? Oh, it's so a you, team you, game. Oh, that's right, because you, you couldn't even 1v1 my... I was fighting my, both of them at the same time, and he's starting to get really heated and flushed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. But see, like, yeah. you started fighting Victor, and you couldn't do anything. So I don't think you would have lasted against somebody with an ignition weapon and a 1v1 battle. So, you know. Oh, Cal. Maybe one day you'll catch up. And I just kind of like flick his nose, like from underneath. <laughs> he he kind of like, you know, gets really angry, kind of prepares a punch or something. But oh, what are you going to do? I step in, I step in, I step in. Yo, Cal. Well, hi, Wu. How are you this morning? Good morning, Ian. Hey, man, you shaved this morning? Looking good. <laughs> Eden lets out a bark of laughter. <laughs> you you do notice the mustache is no longer present. But when you say that, he what do you and then he his eyes kinda widen a little bit. Huh. Okay. Okay. Woo. We'll see how this goes in class. What? We just walked through the infirmary to check on Leaf. And we uh -huh. saw you with your new um your new um uh, Facial hair. I, I thought it was know. to make you look more manly. Maybe? But I guess you. I guess the look didn't work. I must not have worked, Woo, huh? Yeah, I just assumed you could grow a stash, but. Huh? I, I guess maybe I was not. Wrong. Poor little leaf. See, we, we take care of our. Even people who aren't our teammates from the original game, so. Yeah. Didn't see you doing much of that. But anyway, <laughs> you enjoy your class this morning. Woo, take good care of Cal for me. And I give I give Woo a big old wink and turn back around. Got my it. hair my hair hits Cal in the face as I turn around. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Alright, buddy, let's get to the elevator. You don't want to be late for class, do you? He's just fuming and as you see he's like <laughs> all red to the point of being getting a little purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Cal, I look over my shoulder. You might want to consider breathing. I think that, you know, that really helps keep you alive. Oh, what's, Just... what's wrong? Shin Shinsu got your tongue? At this point, uh, Scopio, all right, regulars, and he opens the door. The doors open up, and he steps beside the elevator, and he motions to it. From here on out, it is your responsibility. Good luck in your classes. And the regulars slowly start filing in. I'm gonna say it's like, you know, it can hold like 10 at a time, so it doesn't take long. And the elevator is really fast. So, all right. Eden makes an intentional point to find Victor, since we're going to the same sure. class. Yes. Links arm with him, links arms with him, gives Cal a little waves and hops onto the elevator with him. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, okay. So, Joining you is a bunch of other spear bearers, you know, you hit the button and you start heading up and I'm gonna say everyone else at the same time, does there want, do you wanna have a little interaction before entering your separate classrooms? Anyone else? I'm talking with Shion and I'm telling her all the facts about my best buddy Brack and how he's super smart and super cool and he's really strong. And you should try all and right. be friends with him. Uh, While eating a banana. Dang, that's so considerate because I'm just clowning bulwark the whole way up <laughs> the floor to super nice and super kind and he's all good to his friends I'm talking about how bald he is how smackable that head is I'm talking about how how he built like a Buick and he looked like Macho Man Randy Savage on a bad day. Like, I'm oh. just clowning. <laughs> and he's considerate, oh, no. and he's always thinking about others, and he loves strawberry water. I say, I told him that he looks like one of Joker's grunts. Like one of the oh, ones no. from like the Batman Joker, no. the one that had the pogo stick. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. 
he's <laughs> and that he's a friend for life, and <laughs> that you can always depend on him. Dude, I'm just saying, if Bulwark drops out of this class, I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I like right you. before we reach the top, the last thing I say to Bulwark is the best thing you could have did was die in the crown game, and then oh, I prepare to walk out. <laughs> And then I tell Shion, look, that scene right there, the guy he was berating, that other guy. <laughs> Yo. See, it's beautiful uh, because Damien is talking me up at the same time I'm doing the exact yeah, opposite. We were cutting back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh, dude, my it's Lord. too early for my stomach to hurt. Oh, my God. Oh, Jeez. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so so great. Okay, Shion kind of just nods at your remarks and kind of just is focused on her own thing, Damien. But okay, you all. The elevator goes up, takes up the spear bearers, takes up the fishermen, light bearers, scouts, wave controllers. And for each of you, this it's pretty much exactly the same. You walk down the hall a little bit, and there's like one door that you can see, and. You enter the door, and the classroom is situated very similarly to the meeting room, where, where they were giving the announcements about the positions and everything. Um, only difference is that it's much smaller, maybe like 10 seats or something. And then down the steps is a desk. And you all see your testing administrators there. So the Spear Bears, you see Nissan, he's reading a book it looks like, kind of just flipping through it behind the desk. Light bearers, you see Charity. She's like standing there with her arms behind her back, like, you know, bouncing, bouncing up and down. And I'm, and I'm giving her a big wave. Uh, she, she immediately waves back twice as enthusiastically. <laughs> um, H1 is just standing there and just looking around back and forth at all the regulars coming in. And Brooke is sitting behind the desk with her hands kind of like this and just smiling. Um, for the fisherman, when you come in, you don't see Scopio, and that's because he's coming in behind you. And you all go ahead and find some seats. Brack, do you want to sit next to anyone in particular? Brack doesn't know anybody in the classroom except Bulwark. <laughs> and he wants to sit beside Bulwark. Best oh, buddy, oh. Bulwark. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Great. Has he Bulwark had enough? <laughs> <laughs> never enough. Never Bul enough. <laughs> Bulwark was sitting at the very back of the, uh, you know, very top. So you go ahead and plop next to him, and he just kind of like Cal, but instead of you know growing purple, his muscles just started like you can just tell he is extremely frustrated. And he, he whispers worry. over to you, "If I had my brother Boulder, this would be a different story." You look like a Boulder, but look. This is what we're not going to do this today. Let's get through the first class and and, and we'll see how things go. <clears throat> that was Call almost nice. <laughs> to be honest, in comparison, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> right. Okay, all so right. we're going to start with the fishermen here. As you all take your seats, Scopio slowly walks to the front of the room. I'm play some music here. And he just turns to look at you all. Hello, everyone. As I previously introduced myself, my name is Scopio Balrock. I will be the fisherman instructor for today, for this week. The fisherman class is a class built upon physical combat, first and foremost. Shinsu does play a large role in the way we fight, in the way we operate, and he starts pacing. But at the end of the day, it requires a regular with a very steadfast attitude, a regular with a sturdy body, and a regular who is skilled on the battlefield in order to be a fisherman. The fisherman is the epitome of all positions, well-rounded, able to suit whatever role they need to, able to be at the front of the group, tanking as many attacks as they need to in order for the rest of their team to perform their duties. They're also incredibly strong and able to fend off any opponent that comes their way. There are other roles that may fill the fisherman position, but it is the fisherman's duty to be at the center and heart of the team. And then you notice he kind of pulls out a, a skinny little red needle 
This is a needle. This is the most common weapon in the tower, and for good reason. Can anyone tell me why needles are so frequently used throughout the tower by both regulars and rankers? I know that boy work like. <clears throat> tell him. Oh tell him. Tell him. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell him. Pip squeak. Well, since Bulldor doesn't want to tell you. Scopio just kind of this is very surprised by the outburst. <laughs> <laughs> it's used because it's e the easiest weapon to use to cut through Shinsu. See, Bulwark, I did your job for you. But all you had to do was just say it was easier to use. Please, no whispering in said. class, Mr. Bronson. I I'm giving private lessons. <laughs> oh my gosh! Leave that to me, or I will reduct um, more points from your total. I that is correct. Know. That is correct. The needle is primarily used because Shinsu can be often a pain when using other weapons. But when using a needle, it is able to cleanly, thoroughly, and easily cut through Shinsu, allowing needles to be fluid. A needle is also very light, simple to use. There aren't any advanced functions on most ordinary needles, and thus is a very commonly used weapon by starting regulars. However, my weapon of choice is also a needle, and so that is proof that rankers can also perfect the use of a needle. Today, I will be handing a, I will hand out each of you your very own needle. And he snaps and a red needle plops down on the desk in front of each of you. This weapon is what you will be using throughout the remainder of your time here on the second floor. I know many of you prefer to use other weapons. However, it is my job to teach you the basics and the foundations of being a fisherman. And to do that, you will be using needles. A needle is the most basic and simple way to teach the fundamentals of being a fisherman. Any questions about this? I don't question anything, but I look at Boulder. And I'm like, he's going to use it as a toothpick. And I just continue to look forward. My name is Bulwark. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 All right. This class, you will be doing many activities that require physical training. And so when you come to class, be prepared for action. The rest of today's session and the afternoon session will be lecture-based, however. And then he goes on and on about the different ways of fishermen. Most of this first part is just him lecturing. Just him going on about, you know, basic ways to to fight as a fisherman, a couple of details about using a needle, especially mentioning like the fluidity, um, allowing it to be part of your body and all that. And the class goes on for three hours in a similar fashion. Three hours of fun. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut to the spear bears. So as you all walk into the room, uh, Eden, do you have any preference on the place you wish to sit? I just stay next to Victor. Sure, okay. So he sits down like at the end of a row, you sit next to him. And then um, other than that though, you just, you know, the other regulars all kind of fill under their seats and no one sits next to you. Nissan kind of straightens his hat a little bit. Well, hello everyone. As I said yesterday, my name is Nissan Terkes. I'm very excited to be the spear bear instructor because the spear bearer position is quite a fun one. Who can tell me the basic duties of being a spear bearer? And then uh, with that, uh, Lake raises her hand. Yes, Miss Lake. Well, usually a spear bearer is the ranged attacker, someone who is allowing his team to create an opening and then using a spear or a similar ranged weapon, they're able to do, do considerable damage from afar. Well, very, very nice, very nice, Lake. That was well done. Any other reasons, anyone else on the spear bear position? And the reason why a spear bear is so vital to the team? 
nobody. The Spear Bearer is a diverse class. And while you're not wrong, Miss Lake, about being a ranged attacker and a ranged fighter, Spear Bearers also have to be able to adapt. If your fisherman dies, or maybe a scout sneaks in and you don't notice it, a Spear Bearer has to be ready to attack at close combat. A Spear Bearer can't just rely on their ranged weapon. They have to sometimes take the role of a fisherman, or even just fend off a scout or two. That is why, and he picks up a spear, that is why most of us spear bearers use spears. It's not necessarily required, but a spear is the perfect weapon for the position because it allows you to both attack from afar if you need to, and also fight at close range. Now, some of you may not be used to this kind of weapon, Maybe you're used to weapons that are only from afar. Looks over at Eden and Vlazer. But that is what this class is all about. We'll be teaching you both facets of being a spear bearer. And for that reason, and instead of him like snapping and the needles appearing, he grabs a pile of spears and starts handing them out to each of you. Um, very basic, like all red spear. For the duration of your time here on the second floor, you will be using a spear. Now, I know. Some of you aren't used to a spear, maybe this is your first time even touching a spear. But this weapon will allow you to bring out your potential and learn the fundamentals. Any questions about that? Everyone just kind of is examining their spear. And uh, Victor whispers over to Eden, well, lucky me. <laughs> you have a bit of a head start. This is a little, uh, cumbersome. Just kind of like run it in her both hands, just kind of like, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> sure. You notice it's pretty light, but definitely like odd to you. You're not sure like how exactly you're supposed to hold it and all that. Spear bearers. Okay. All right. And he kind of just pauses. This is more for my personal enjoyment, but I really want to know why do you think I chose you, and he points to everyone, you all, to be in this specific position. And you notice he's the kind of teacher that really wants interaction in his class, even though no one is <laughs> speaking up at like, all. <laughs> Any guesses? Um. <laughs> Anyone? You know? It's okay if you're wrong, I just, I want to hear from you, you know? Can they phone a friend? You <laughs> know, like she actually raised her hand. Yeah, uh, Miss Eden. Um, I'm guessing it had to do with um, kind of the uh, smaller ranged arrow ability that I had, but I also was able to <clears throat> fight up close when I needed to. So it kind of fit the prerequisites of what you just laid out as a spear bearer should be. Totally, hundred percent. <laughs> that is one reason, but there was a more important reason. No one? All right. It was because each of you provided both precision and power, but not one over the other. And he looks around. Some spear bearers, they arrive and think they can just throw the spear as hard as they can. And he motions really fast and you'll take out the enemy in one hit. And then other regulars think, as long as I hit my target, I'll be fine. Both of those answers are wrong. It requires a balance of the two. You have to hit your target, but you have to kill them in one hit, ideally, if I'm being blunt. It's not 50-50 precision and power. It's 100% precision and 100% power. And each of you showed that during the crown game. And that's why we chose you for this position. And he just smiles as if he just said something like to be proud of. Eden still has a very quizzical look like, hmm, I don't know what to make of this. And then he goes on and on about using a <laughs> spear, the proper method, you know, and why the spear bearer is like super cool and awesome. All of the, like every two minutes asking a question, just like wanting some, <laughs> wanting interaction at every possible time. Oh no. Okay, and at this point we cut to the light bearers. Damien, uh, when you walk in 
There aren't nearly as many light bears. Um, if you want me to remind you, they all are seated though, so you kind of have an option to sit next to someone if you wish. Um, the other light bearers are Cobra, Fluxvolk, Namsan, Zone, and Cam. Was so. was was Fluxvolk the one that waved at me on like the second episode of uh, of the King of the Sea? Yes. The All right. Figure. <laughs> then I know who I'm they are, and I sit next that. to them. <laughs> <laughs> so so you sit next to the hooded the hooded scythe user. Okay. Oh boy. And I we I actually wave. have art. Literally warned him. Oh, oh, oh damn. Damn. Very simple. Very simple. The hooded figure. Everyone, Ooh. let's go. We did all it. Of the, all of us. So it's not Xehanort. Got it. <laughs> right. <laughs> not, <quite Xehanort. laughs> not yet. Oh, yeah, unveils. And <laughs> 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 so, Damon, you sit down next to this individual. Um, there's still a couple of minutes left. Do you, do you say anything? Of course. I say, hey, I remember you from the King of the Sea. Damien Frog, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> and you can just hear like a chuckle underneath the cloak. <laughs> yeah, and this is Freisvelger. He's going to be doing my notes for me. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, Freisvelger looks a little bit unsure of this other individual, but, you know, uh, uh -oh. is okay with walking forward. And the hooded individual slowly reaches out their hand and touches Freisvelger. Um, and Freisvelger oh. kind of jumps up and, like, kind of scurries back towards you. Oh no! Like, don't worry, no. he's our friend. Yo, keep an eye on your frog. Homie. And Hrace he looks back. pretty darn spooked by what just happened. <gasps> like, like kind of shaking even. No. Oh, I'm trying to die on frog legs. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. He's not normally like this with people, uh, but I'm sure with time, he will uh, get more accustomed to you. That's fine, they say. And when you say, when you hear the voice, it's very odd, very odd, because it almost sounds like it's a voice that you can't place. It's almost as if like the voice sounds like a few different voices. And so you're like, you can't tell what kind of voice it was. Very hard to describe for you, if you were to like explain it to someone. Like I just did. That is very interesting. I don't think I've ever communicated with someone like you before. What part of the tower do you come from? And at that point, you hear Charity's voice. Welcome, all the regulars, to my class. And she starts bouncing up and down. Oh, I've been counting down the minutes. This is so exciting. Um, today, we're talking about the light bearer position. And she looks around to see if there's any excitement in the room. I'm excited. I'm like, yay! And then I yay! like, we'll talk later. They just, they, they, Fluxvolk does not say anything. All right, so I'm warning you all right now, the light bear position is definitely the hardest position to learn about in the tower. I mean, wave controllers have it kind of hard because they use Shinsu and all this stuff and bangs and everything, but the light bearer has to use lighthouses and lighthouses are pretty tricky. Does anyone want to comment on what a lighthouse does and the function of a lighthouse? What do you think is the main purpose behind a lighthouse? Uh, Damien. Ah, uh, uh, gathering information and uh, stuff on the battlefield, ma'am. Exactly, totally. Wait, That's I got exactly that right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you just guessing? Yeah. You're, you're exactly right. The light bearer is the tactician, the information gatherer. The light bearer is the support of the group. And the support of the team is so much fun because if you don't know, as you continue to climb the tower, you're going to be able to you know, update your lighthouse. And she brings out three of her own and they start like shifting and changing and you know, they become a keyboard, they become like bigger and smaller and she starts like manipulating them. You can do almost anything you want with lighthouses, which is so cool. You can support your team by powering them up. You can slow down enemies and you can even learn. And she st steps to the side and the lighthouses kind of scatter and she teleports to the other side of the room to teleport. And she walks back to her position. <sighs> Lighthouses oh are so Oh my fun. god! You can do that if you put enough time and effort into it. Christ, Philip, girl, are you getting this down? 
Okay. Now, First vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Mr. Mr. Frog, sorry. I know you're excited, but could you keep it down a little bit? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. You're going to get your own lighthouse, but unfortunately not yet, because it takes a little while to get used to controlling a lighthouse, and we don't want to force too much on you. So tomorrow we'll give you your own lighthouse, and it's going to be so fun because you can customize the color of it and everything. And pretty much every single other person in this class is just like staring dead. Like they, this is probably the least energetic class out of all of them. And so she's just. Well, I like, have enough. I have enough energy for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes! <laughs> Fluxvolk has not moved whatsoever since you started class. The lighthouse has so many different functions, and I'm so excited to teach you all how to use them. One of the most basic ones is that you can increase the lighthouse's size and even enter it. And you can set up your own terminals and you can basically use your lighthouses to connect to one another and be the tactician of your team and tell them what needs to be done and get a better view of what's going on. Now, question to everyone. Who is most likely, in your opinion, the position that you would want to work with the most as a light bearer? Who do you think is the most useful other position? my hand. The Scout! You're right again, Mr. Frog! The reason is, the Scout is able to use their Observer to connect to the lighthouse and provide footage for the light bearers without giving away the light bearer's position. And, you know, she's very happy with the responses. She goes on and on about the different ways that lighthouses can be used and how they're amazing and it's the best position ever. Three hours of that. Yes! And then we cut to the Scouts. So, Wu... Mm -hmm. Do you want me to read? So the people who are in your class that are all sitting down, you've got uh, Stexa, Cal Silvers, Mosu, Beacon, the Birdman, Pen, and Tabs, all kind of Maybe. sitting in different spots. I'm I'm sitting next to. Well, can Stexa and Cal be like both next to me? Is that possible? Can I sit in the no, middle of them? No, they're definitely sitting apart. Okay, I'm sitting next to Stexa. Okay. As much as I want to mess with Cal. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Sexy kind of goes, oh, hey. What's up? Eat breakfast? Uh, no, I was too nervous. Oops. Really? Why? This is our first day. What if we mess up? What if we say something we're not supposed to say? Sexa, breathe. We'll be <sighs> fine. Just class. Just class. You're right. Just class. And I'm sure our teacher is going to be really nice, too. And H one, H one just kind of looks around, back and forth. Hello, everyone. My name is H one. I will be your scout instructor for this week. Her voice once again. First of all, you notice she's quite tall. Like, well, you notice she's like taller than you. Um, she's very tall. Her voice is sounds like it's passing through a filter, and she talks in this monotone way that. It's very obvious you all are questioning if she's, like, kind of a robot, because it definitely sounds partially like that. The scout position. A scout is not simply a secondary fisherman, like many people seem to think. And she's not moving it. Like, her head's the only thing that's moving. The scout position is the most important position in the tower. Does anyone wish to explain why? Uh, can I ask what's up with the helmet, H1? She stares over at you. This is no time for unnecessary questions, Mr. Wu. Okay, I'll answer your question, but can we talk later, at least? Maybe? If you wish to meet <laughs> with me about a question, you may do so after class. I definitely need some tutoring, so I'll be sure to come by. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Does anyone anyway, have any... Any serious questions or serious answers? Cal raises I'll his hand. I'll your question. Mr. Silvers. Uh -huh. And Cal like looks over at you and kind of smiles. Well, it's obviously because the scout is really good at fighting. Without the scout, I mean, the team has no physical attackers. What, what are you going to do, you know? 
That is incorrect, Mr. Silvers. Anyone else wish to answer? Mm -hmm. I, laugh, oh, I laugh at him. I laugh <laughs> at him real quick. Silence yep. in the classroom. Uh, Steck, I raised Stex's hand. Stex a nose. Uh, ah, ah. <laughs> oh no! Miss <laughs> Webb, you wish to answer? And her voice just kind of gets caught. The betrayal. And she pulls her hand down and start, starts shaking back and forth. Like, no, 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 no answer. And if it's very strange noise as if a robot was to sigh. <sighs> the scout Thanks, is the information gatherer of the team. <laughs> Rip Stexus is the chat. Yeah, that was a little crazy. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't giving her the answer. <laughs> <laughs> She was, she freaked out, man. She freaked out. The scout is the information gatherer of the group. And while they can take on the role of a fisherman, that is not their primary goal. Without the scout, you do not know what lies ahead. Without the scout, you cannot properly prepare for an ambush. Without the scout, you do not know what your objective will be for the game. The scout scouts ahead and finds these things before the test or the battle begins. They can also do so during the battle before the primary fighting starts. The scout is essentially a mixture of all positions because of this reason. And so if you thought you were going to get let off easily, you are sorely mistaken. You will have to work four times as hard as anyone else in any other class. And she pauses for a second, looking back and forth. Does anyone know the primary item that scouts use? I just nudge Stexa. Stexa, this is your chance. I will tell you the answer. Just raise <laughs> your hand. Are you wrong? If you're wrong, I'm gonna kill you. If you're wrong, I'm gonna kill you. And she you slowly... Can... You can kill him. It's called an observer, Stexa. Just say, don't fuck it up. <laughs> 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 yes, Miss Webb. A observer. What was that, Miss Webb? Ob observer. That is correct. And she just like <sighs> lets out a huge sigh. The observer, and she puts hers up. And you can see it in the artwork, little metal robotic-looking observer. The observer is the most important item that belongs to a scout. Even if you do not have your weapon. Prioritize your observer. The observer is not the same as a pocket. Without the observer, you cannot give your light bear the data they need to plan accordingly. Without the observer, you do not know if traps will be up ahead. Without the observer, you cannot use certain functions as you climb the tower, such as camouflage, holograms, assisting the lighthouses, teleportation. There are even some observers that can do combat. Is everyone clear about the importance of this item? Can you touch on the combat functionalities real quick? Or... The observers are not primarily combat based. There are certain observers. Some that are old, some that are new, that do have some combat functions, such as projectiles. Some can even turn into monsters. Do not underestimate the observer. Got it. When do I get mine? You will all receive your first observers tomorrow. Today, I will prepare you for when that comes. And she starts lecturing you about the uses of an observer, how to manipulate it so that it floats beside you. And she just, it's all lecture based. And you know, classes are generally boring, but her voice stays the same pretty much the whole time with a little, you know, it's not full on robot, but you get the idea. It's very monotone. And then we cut to the wave controllers. So, huh, I can't wait to see who Gasu wants to sit next to. So, Gasu, <laughs> you notice uh, four, only four other regulars in this room. Bell, Jada, Sponge, and Bill A. Bartimus III are all sitting in their respective uh, <laughs> locations. <laughs> My man, Bill. Um... <laughs> Uh, Gasu would like to take the furthest seat in the back of the classroom, uh, as far away from everyone else as possible. Sure. All right. You find a spot that's secluded. 
as much as possible. And Brooke stands up. Well, welcome everyone to the Wave Controller class. And you notice Sponge is like, like super, super excited in the front row, like waiting for her every word. <laughs> I know some of you may know me, and she looks over at Sponge, but for this week, I really am just your Wave Controller instructor. I don't want you to treat me any differently. My name is Brooke. I'm a Wave Controller. And Shinsu will be the topic of this class. Shinsu makes up the tower. And she starts walking back and forth. Without Shinsu, we wouldn't be alive. Shinsu is air. It's water. It helps make up the creatures, including ourselves. You can use Shinsu to do almost anything. And she starts, you know, she creates a couple of purple, purple bangs and starts floating them around. And they kind of like expand and they, you know, they start making all these crazy shapes. If you learn to control Shinsu, you may very well be the greatest asset of your team. And then she kind of just puts it, you know, eliminates the bangs. Some wave controllers are more supportive, like myself. Others are the powerhouses of the team. It is up to you and you alone to decide how you fill that role. And she looks, Gazu, you notice she looks at you in particular. So, obviously this, if you didn't realize, is the hardest position. Even creating a single bang is hard for many individuals. And it's okay if you don't, because at some point we will be giving you tools that help you control Shinsu. You're only here for a week, and sometimes it takes years to create a bang. So we don't expect you to perform on your first day. Any questions about anything that I've discussed so far? Gasu raises his hand. Yes, Gasu. Is it possible at all to switch classes? I just don't really think the wave controller is right for me. She kind of chuckles. Talk to me after class. Shinsu is more than just the air around you. It's everything. And she starts going into the different terminologies. A bang, or bong, is a basic unit of Shinsu. If you can control this and you can control multiple, and she creates like three more, you will, pri you will be able to overpower the opponent's wave controller. For example, if you have three bangs and your opponent has two, you can block their two bangs while sending your third to attack them directly. You don't have to control bangs to control Shinsu, but it is the best way to do so. Myun is the size of the bang. Some regulars are really good at some things, at some aspects of being a wave controller, while others learn other aspects. You need to learn to balance them entirely. If your Myun is not as good as your Su, which is the concentration of Shinsu within a bang, it's all right. Take the time to learn. Take the time to utilize all of these different styles and all these, and she just goes on and on. It's a very, you know, she has a very enjoyable voice and a very enjoyable presence. She's not too loud. She's very friendly, but she's not like too friendly like Nissan was trying to, you know, she didn't ask very many questions. And so the class goes on for three hours about what Shinsu is and bangs and all this and all that. And at this point, if you all are still awake, the, <laughs> the pockets go off and all of your instructors, oh, it's time for lunch. Please be back here in one hour to continue today's class. Uh, what do you like to eat, Mr. Fluxvolk? And Fluxvolk turns turns towards you. You can't see under the cloak quite, even though they're facing you, you know? I like to eat anything, really. Oh, well, lunch should be great then, if you're not too picky. Not at all. And you can tell they're kind of smiling. 
I hope they have fruit salad today. I want a variety of sweet things. Um, and as you're talking, you're kind of walking down the hall, but when you kind of look back for Fluxvalk, you notice they're not there anymore. Like, you notice they probably just rushed on ahead or something, but, you know. Wait. Wait, what the? After a few minutes. It wasn't, like, sudden, but you kind of were talking and talking, and then when you look over, it's like Fluxvalk moved on. Is is any did anyone else is anyone else around me when that happens? They're, they're all just walking oh. towards the uh, elevator. Huh. I I can I ask Charity what happened? Did he just did, did... Charity's still back in the uh, classroom? So oh bugger it! Oh. <laughs> you could ask Trace Velger. I'm just kidding. Her, he's not going to give me an answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. my bad. Sorry. Jeez. I thought this frog could do anything. <laughs> so, not, not, yeah. It's true. So, okay, we're actually going to take our break as everyone gets down to the cafeteria for lunch. Um, and when we come back, uh, we will just quickly get through, you know, um, just so everyone knows, we're not going to be spending time during each lecture period. Just some setup and then whatever is important that needs to be said in class. So, yeah, we're super excited. We'll be right back in about five minutes. Super excited. Uh, go ahead and check out the memes and the fan art, which were all amazing this week. And when we come back, we'll continue our Towers and Gods adventure. See you soon. Bye. Where, where is it? Here. Bye-bye. Here, here okay.
Oh, I don't have my camera on on Discord. Boom, there we go. All right, we're back. Welcome everyone. Thank you for being patient during the break. Huge shout out, because this week, as it is every week, was awesome when it comes to the memes and fan art. If you don't know, you can join the Discord and submit your very own memes and fan art so that we can feature it, and we will feature it next episode, which is gonna be obviously after the break, after the uh, holiday break. Also, I wanted to, oh gosh, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, really quickly, um, don't forget to like the video because it definitely supports the series. And if you're enjoying it, then you can share that support by leaving a like. And but do yeah. Not forget to believe in the heart of the dice. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Take it from Joe. Take it from Joe. Frank it from Reisfelger. <laughs> That's right, Reisfelger. <laughs> If I believe in you and in my dice, I can win anything. You're right. Is this race Velger's canonical really... place? Yeah, I was no. Say. <laughs> Let's roll some dice. <laughs> Duel. Dude. Oh my God. I was about to say, that's a hot testosterone frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just reveal that he's three inches tall. So <laughs> oh. that base is point frog. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny, dude. All right. So at this point, we're going to cut back uh, to right after the classes. You all, oh, so Gasu, I did forget about talking to Brooke if you wanted to do that. But if you want to, you can do that um, after the second lecture, the second session. Yeah, we can save it for the, after the second lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm getting tutoring you after class, way. right? Right. Sorry? I'm getting tutoring after class, right? I. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm so leave, serious. I'll leave that to you, you know? I mean, okay. Okay. All right. cool. yeah. Cool. there's a second session afterward, and you you talk to H1. All right, got it. He hey, wants all the time he can get. All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> so you all have an hour for the lunch break, and you, you make your way to the cafeteria. Again, if you have something different, let me know. Make your way to the cafeteria. Burger and fries are the meal today. Not bad, not bad. And, uh, yeah, you... I'm gonna say you're the first ones to, to grab your meal. Um, do you wish to sit together? Does anyone wanna sit separately? Uh, I'm gonna sit, I wanna sit with everybody, but can I invite Stex though? Yeah, sure. And she she gladly accepts. Uh, she, you could tell she was looking a little nervous looking around the room. Did Fluxwalk like legitimately just disappear? You see Fluxwalk <laughs> now in the cafeteria off in the corner um, oh. with a plate of food. Delightful. Well, I still sit with my friends. And I okay. invite Shion with me. <laughs> okay, cool. This so man said, where, where's that hooded dude? All right, bet. He can go off any hour. <laughs> <Yeah. here. laughs> <laughs> um, Eden, you notice uh, Victor kind of joins the group as well. He doesn't need an invitation, right? But Boris uh -huh. is also off by himself at a different table. Um, but yeah, you all go ahead and sit down together. And Stexa says, oh, I'm exhausted already. These classes are insane. What are you doing in your, your classes? It's just lecture. And it's oh. so boring. <laughs> you should have seen her. She was so nervous. But she got a question what? right, though. I, I was not nervous. <laughs> oh. I was... I was a little sick, is all, you know? Whatever you say, Stexa. <laughs> you agree with me though, right? Like the scout class is kind of the worst. Well, her voice is a little, and uh, she's not really saying anything different, but I promise when we get to know her better, she'll be awesome. <laughs> okay. How about I you guys? I raise my hand. I'm gonna get a thing called a lighthouse. Very yeah. good, Damien. That's what light bearers <laughs> use. It allows me to manipulate the battlefield and use mm. that information to help my allies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I look at the notes that Race Felger wrote. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's really important. And uh, teleports. Teleports? Wait. Teleports? Teleports? Yeah. That's a thing that happened in my class. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can so I can cool. I wish I was in your class. Brock has an inner monologue and he just goes. 
the frog is going to be a difficult one to deal with now. <laughs> and he just leans <laughs> back. <laughs> what are you muttering about, Brack? Nothing. Nothing. I got this this twig. I and I put the she... I put the needle on the table. I tell oh, she okay. happens. Like, isn't that great? <laughs> isn't he great? Uh sure. <laughs> I I got a needle as well. And she puts it on the table. And this is what us fishermen got. And then as she puts hers on the table, I bring out my my uh harpoon. I go, but see, it's not this. Like, look at this magnificentness. Like it's it's just you can throw it, you can go to it, like it's so ah! why did they give me this little needle? And then I just push the needle on the ground. <laughs> and I look I look with like a sad, depressed face. <laughs> At least you didn't snap it in half, I was wondering. Uh, no. <laughs> you were gonna I need say it. Something with I turned to Gasu real quick. So, and I kind of nudge him. How's Brooks class? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know too. <laughs> uh, it was alright, I guess. I don't know, she's pretty normal. What, pretty, pretty what do you mean normal? normal? She's an idol, dude. Have you seen her, Gasu? Are you blind, man? I, I pull out like a strawberry water with my meal. She is this person! <laughs> this person! <laughs> Gasu. And you say her class is normal? Gasu noticing the the high hostile energy <laughs> that is entered the conversation uh, is hesitant. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. She's just a normal girl. I don't I don't know what else to say. She's definitely not like that chick on the bottle. All right, all right. I see, I see you, Gus. You're just trying to play it cool. I got you, man. Don't worry. Oh, Victor kind of chuckles and kind of starts nodding. He just you just kind of shakes your head. We do have a whole week here on the floor, so who knows what can happen, right? You're right. Grace Vulgar, you get my notes in the light bearer class. I'm going to go to the wave controller class. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't think do that's a good phone. idea. Yeah, that's definitely not a good idea, Daniel. No, don't do that. <laughs> I just hear Grace Felger. It's like, no, you can't go to the wave controller class. Who's going to write the notes? <sighs> anyway, we don't have much time. We probably no. should just focus on preparing for the rest of the day because we have another four hours. <laughs> you guys have extra time after that, don't you? We haven't been summoned, so I don't know yeah. if that's happening today. Plus, I gotta get used to this thing. Kind of like it's kind of like jury rigged to like her her uh, quiver of arrows on her back, but it's just like this long thing. I keep getting stuck in doorways. It's annoying. Oof. I feel you're there with my spear. This. I'm not used to this, Victor. You get used to it with a little bit more mastery, a little bit more practice. Although I kind of like my spear better. Kind of sucks. I can't use it. Yeah. I say my arrows are a little more efficient and a little more my speed, but hey, I'm... I There's guess we'll figure this out. Learning new skills. Huh? That's true. It'll be valuable for us. Yeah. And you continue to eat as normal. Um, and then it's about 10 minutes before class. Victor kind of gets up. We should probably get going, you know? Yep, let's go. Okay. And you all head back to the classes, and unless you wish to have something in particular said or done, it's basically just a continuation of everything that had happened before. All lecture, there's no activity or anything, and you continue to get more of a grasp on each of the testing administrator's um, personalities and such. And then I'm going to say it's nearing the end of class, finally wrapping up. And uh, Gasu, the uh, wave controller teacher, Brooke, she says, oh, and just so everyone knows, um, hopefully by tomorrow, we're going to have an additional wave controller in the class. So oh. just as a warning and as a heads up, I should say. And she's a very sweet girl. Make sure you don't scare her away. All right. Cool. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of your day or have fun with the rest of your day. And we'll see you tomorrow. And slowly the regulars start to get up and... Uh, shift out of the wave controller room. Gasu, do you wish to do anything? Uh, 
Yeah, Gasu gets up and approaches Brooke. Uh, yeah, Gasu, what's up? Hey, um, listen, I just don't want to waste your time, you know? Uh, I'm not really suited for this wave controller stuff. Um, so if I could just go to, like, the fisherman class or something, I'd be okay with that. You know, Gasu, Ari Regulus is the one who decides the positions, and even though us testing administrators do have a lot of say in, in that decision, you were the only one that he was insistent on being in this class. So I really don't think we can make that happen. Did you say that the administrators have a say in who gets in what class? The testing administrators do, yes. <sighs> Guess I'm not getting out of this, am I? Well, Ari Regulus chose you for a reason, Gasu. As long as you can learn to channel Shinsu, maybe you can learn how to use it alongside your current fighting style. <laughs> you see Gasu is like, <clears throat> just very, very conflicted with that response. He doesn't know, he, he doesn't know how to answer it, but there's clearly like a reason that he doesn't want to speak anymore. Sure. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm gonna go. And then he just sort of turns and walks away. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, Gasu. Yeah, yeah. And then we cut to the scout class in H1, uh, who was holding some papers, puts them on the desk. Class is now over. Tomorrow, you will receive your observers. You must be on time, otherwise you will lose points. Have a good rest of your day. <coughs> Miss H1, uh, yes. I really didn't get a lot of the things you were saying today. Can I just stop by your office <laughs> in like 10 minutes so we can talk? That is fine. I will All see right. you there. And she walks off. We cut to the light bearers. All right, everyone, tomorrow you're going to receive your lighthouse. So be super excited and prepared because it's going to be awesome. All right? Take Dead care, Miss Charity. Uh, you too, Mr. Frog. Uh, what a class. Hey, Mr. Flux Volk. Well, what do you do with your free time? Free time, you say? Yeah, what do you do? Many things. Um, name one. <laughs> Speaking with you. And the oh. voice still has that same, like, you can't quite place it. Is that... Do you mean that's something you enjoy doing? You're climbing the tower for your father, right? How do you know that? Ooh. Dominic Wait. Frog? Yeah. Who... What? How do you... How do you know that? I'd like to speak with you more. Oh, no. Mm. Aboard, Damien, aboard. Um... Right. Yeah, sure. Tomorrow, but... after class. Okay. But I'd love to get to know you better. How do you? What? How can you know that though? Tomorrow after class. Give Give me some kind of re Give me some kind of proof. I just did. Okay, and fair they, enough. That's, they, that's true. They get up and start walking out. <sighs> Who is this man? Let me play the happy music again. We cut back to the spear bearers. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Legion trying to take that booty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think that was a very successful day. Thank you all so much for contributing to the class. We had a very helpful discussion. Um, and make sure you practice with those spears, all right? Because we're going to be using them a lot in this class. We'll see you tomorrow. And Victor, you can tell he was kind of like dozing off a little bit. Kind of like oh. lightly elbows him like, stay awake. I'm awake. Everything's good. Yep. Is class over? We're, we're done, right? Yep. Yeah, we're done. Sweet. Let's go. <sighs> I hope they have some food. And What do you want to do tonight? I was actually gonna 
Uh, like, we're, we're gonna. No, 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 not, 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 not the dice game. I, I yeah, meant, we're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yep. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I actually was going to ask you, unless one of us gets summoned by Mr. Regulus, um, maybe you can show me how to use this spear better? Because I'm not so sure about it. Sure. I'd be happy to do that. All right. So, training hall later? Sure. Sounds good to uh, me. If, all right. Sounds good. Maybe we can invite Boris along. I feel like Boris probably is. You know, yeah, off we need to check world. in on that guy, huh? Yeah, he was like a part of our team and everything. And he just totally ghosted us. Yeah. We'll check All in right. with him, for sure. Let's go, let's go find him at dinner. Let's rope him in. Good idea. Make him part of the part of the team. And just totally <laughs> weird him out, because it's good for him. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, and we cut to this fisherman. Class is over. Go enjoy your dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. And he just sits down at his desk. Bulwark gets up and just tries to leave as pretty much as fast as possible. <laughs> About time you were finally fast on your feet. Oh. <laughs> and then I look, uh, Brack looks towards Scorpio. Scorpio. And he, 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 he's questioning whether or not a needle is actually worth it. And he's okay. thinking about challenging him. But then he decides, no, nah, I'm not about to get my ass kicked. And he walks out of the room. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Brack lived that day. All right. Cool. <laughs> lived another day. Um, and Shion kind of walks besides you, beside you as you're walking down the hall. You know, your friend Damien thinks rather highly of you. You talk about the frog who dropped a nuke on me? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeesh. I, yeah, I, I, there's only one frog on this floor, so. The frog who stabbed me with a pair of scissors and left one with a gushing wound inside me. Are you guys friends or am I misunderstanding this? Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good battle. I just want to fight him again. So, just. just All right. Just, just play. <laughs> You all meet up back in the cafeteria, and you know that five it's 5 p.m., 5.05, whatever. You have the rest of the day. They're serving you noodles, some sides, some vegetables, and the like. And, uh, yeah. I'm assuming you all want to sit together again, because that's fun. Yeah. Um, I'm skipping dinner. You're skipping dinner? Yeah. All right, you're going to head to the uh, office then. No, I'm gonna go to the infirmary real quick. Sorry, right, fair enough. You all are enjoying your meal, and um, Eden, I'm gonna say, you know, because you, you're you the one that cares most about this, you you do notice that Wu, I mean, that all of you notice, but Eden in particular, that Wu isn't there, and you do see him, like, walking towards the infirmary. Just, you just notice it happening. She pulls up her pocket and just sends him a message. Um, uh, like, Wu, are you checking on Leaf? Do you want us to grab you some food? Uh, I'll reply. I'll ask back. Yeah, I'm just going to swing by and see how she's doing. Uh, I'm good on food for now. Okay, keep me posted. Send Got a message. You. Okay. So while you all are eating and, you know, sharing some laughs about class, we're going to go ahead and cut to you, Wu. You walk into the infirmary and you notice all the beds are empty except for leaves bed at the end of the room. And when you walk in, you notice that she's just in the exact same position as she was the day before. Is there anybody like medical staff in there or is just her? Not at the moment, just her. Okay. Let's check on her. Damien's, Damien's uh, strawberry drink is still next to her, right? The signed yep. one? Yep. Check on her. Look at that. Reminisce about the fact that Damon is still my boy. Um, <laughs> and then I noticed that she's looking a bit better. Um, I just tell her, I hope you're up tomorrow. You can make it to class. You won't believe who your teacher is going to be. No. Either way, I'll see you then. Pat her on the head. 
uh, head over to the offices. And right when you pat her on the head, you, her eyes start to flutter a little bit. Leave? Leave. Can you hear me? And her breathing kind of gets a little heavy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wu? Uh, water. Uh, then I just reflexively just open the strawberry drink and give her some of it. It's signed, though. Yeah, I should have. I, I, yeah, but I, ha I have to. I have to. I have to. <laughs> you could have sold that on eBay. What are you doing? All right. He can she, <laughs> she definitely uh, accepts the drink. Leave. Strawberry water. Yeah. Look. At, can Can you see this? Look at the can. <laughs> it's Brooke. Yeah, but you notice anything special about it? And she looks a little closer. Did you write on this, Mr. Wu? No, actually. So, remember the frog that I told you wouldn't hurt you, but that hurt you, and then I, I felt really bad. And anyway, uh, yeah, he got it signed by Brooke herself. What? But Brooke, Brooke? And she looks confused in her mind. You know, she's kind of still looking sleepy. All right, don't worry about it for now. Uh, how do you feel? I'm okay. I feel fine. Our class is starting soon? We just had our first day. But if you're feeling fine, at least you'll be able to make it tomorrow. Sorry, chat's making me laugh. Freaking stop it, chat. <laughs> <laughs> bad chat, bad. bad. This is supposed to be sentimental. Have a moment. <laughs> And she looks concerned. If I miss, if I missed class, then that means. I promise they're not going to hold it against you, Leaf. Don't worry about it. I have a feeling that your instructor, in particular, will be on your side. Okay, okay. And she just nods. I'm so tired. It's okay. Just get some rest. I'll check on you in the morning. And Leaf. I'm so sorry for putting you in that position. I'll never let it happen again. And you notice she kind of is, as you're saying that, just drifts back to sleep. All right. I'm gonna head, uh, to the, I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my pocket and let Eden know that she woke up for a bit and that she seems to be doing a bit better. All right, Eden, you received that message. And you don't get a response, and you hear very quick footsteps come bolting in there. She's awake? She just went back to sleep. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, she was awake. Oh. oh, that's so good. Did you did you just leave your food? Yeah, there, uh, there's five people watching, more than five people watching it. It'll be fine. I, Is I wanna... Brack one of them? Yeah, he's totally gonna eat your food. <laughs> How well if he eats no it? It's... <laughs> I mean, considering I got sick from dinner the other night, uh, it's it's. Um, I just want to make sure she was she was okay. And I was. He's I was good. Really She's relieved good. to hear she woke up. They hear Brack laugh and maniacally. <laughs> oh no! Well, I guess dinner's over for me, huh? <laughs> um, Speaking of last night, are you feeling better? Yeah, it's kind yeah. Of weird the way you left. I didn't get a chance uh, to ask you about it. Yeah, food yesterday didn't agree with me, and I hadn't talked about that stuff in a long time, and just it affected me more than I thought it would. I was trying to make a lighthearted joke, and it, it kind of bit me in the butt, but it's all right. Fair enough. I was going to make another joke just now, but it's probably not in the best taste. Um, oh, go for it. Go for it. No, I'm just glad you're feeling better. Oh, come on, Wu. Don't hold back. So, uh... Your husband. What about him? Yet? No, you got, you, you, got, you got a new spear. I'm just saying, just, you know... Who's he packing? <laughs> she gives him a very <laughs> quizzical, like, once-over, like... What are, Like, what, what answer is he looking for? Um... I don't know what you mean by that, but 
<laughs> Almost got you. I'm just playing. I just wanted to know if he, you know, was climbing or anything like that. Ah. Uh... No. No, he wasn't. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad you came to check on Leaf. I gotta go. I got a uh, tutoring. What? It's the first. It's the first day of classes. Why do you need tutoring? It was all basic information. Uh, no, no, I, I, nothing she said made sense. Trust me, I, I need tutoring. Wait a minute. Uh, gotta go. You, bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa! She like grabs him by the t-shirt. <laughs> Do you just want extra time with your teacher? Uh, no, I... I mean, you can ask Stexa. I didn't know any of the answers to the questions. Stexa just told us at the table that you were the one that told her how to answer the questions and kept volunteering her to answer uh, the questions and uh, you were feeding her answers. All right, fine, you what's, got me. <laughs> what's this all about, Wu? Hmm. Don't you find H1 pretty mysterious, too? I just want to... Get more information. Mm. My teacher is also fairly mysterious, but I'm not going to his office after hours. Your teacher? Who's your teacher? Nissan. He's... I thought to him yesterday. I went to his office too. We're boys now. You see, it's not, I'm not partial to anybody in particular. I'm just going to see my. You're friend. lying. Ask him yourself. I was there. No, 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 no. This, this, this whole you wanting to hang out with h1 yeah i saw the way you looked at her when they were when she was introduced i'm not blind Look, you just... my friend are getting flush in the face uh, i need to learn to hide that emotion a little bit better huh at this time uh, a nurse comes a into the infirmary uh are you all visiting or uh yeah yes yes we were she kind of wraps an arm around we, we were just checking up there and she actually came to a little bit, so you might want to. She did. Oh, yeah. And he, ru he rushes over to the the bedside, and administers some medicine and such. And just cheekily look at Wu. Well, you go have fun at your tutoring session. Yeah. All right, bye. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna say, you know, Eden, you come back. Uh, um, Brack, I assume you devoured her plate. Um, I, I tell Eden, well, if it wasn't him, it was going to be Grace Felger. I figured as soon as I left, it would be clean when I came back. It's fine. I had enough earlier. Uh, okay. I'm going to say... Anyone, oh, go ahead. Did anyone ever see Boris? I keep looking for him and I don't see him. Victor goes, oh, yeah. He points over and he's off by himself. You should, why food. didn't Why didn't you bring him over, Victor? I, I, he's Boris. What do you want me to do? I, he, he only listens to you anyway. Call him by his name and tell him to have lunch with us? Question <laughs> mark. I guess I could have. My bad. I uh, uh, All right, I'll go I'll go be the envoy. I'll be right back. <laughs> go over to Boris. Hey, okay. Boris. Low Eden. Okay. You always talk in that tone, or are you just perpetually angry like Gasu? Or uh, I'm nothing what's, like what's... that punk. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm drawing some similarities. Um, what's going on? The only good thing about tonight is we weren't summoned by my uncle. Oh, you can't still be sore about that. I'm not going, you know. What? 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 What do you mean? I'm done with the Ari family. <sighs> Look, Boris. I know the ten great families have a stranglehold, a lot of things, everything happen in this, happens in this tower. But you have to remember, at the end of the day, people are just people, no matter where they come from. If you can learn something useful from them, that suits to your advantage. Don't get me wrong, you. The Ten Families aren't the problem. It's the Ari family. In fact, oh. I respect the Ten Families and Jihad for doing what they did when they climbed the tower. It's the okay. Ari family. I can't stand what? them. 
All right. What in particular to the, and she gets kind of like closer. She's not as boisterous. I, what in particular to the Ari family concerns you so greatly? You know, I just finished dinner, so I'm going to head back to my room. I'll Boris. See you later. Boris, at least tell me what room you're in. He kind of pauses for a second. Doesn't matter. Room two. All right. You have the wonderful rest of your evening and feel free to catch me on my pocket if you need me for anything else. He just kind of walks off, listens, but doesn't say anything back. Um, we're going to cut to Wu, who is on his way to the office. And I'm going to say everyone mute except for Sun. <gasps> uh oh. And we're gone again. Sun, keep your PG. <laughs> you already know. You already know. It's Joe's channel. <laughs> All right, I actually, okay. So, Wu, you, you make your way towards the office and the doors are there, they open up for you. And you remember Nissan's office was the furthest to the left, then the one with stickers, then Scopio's. And then the one past Scopio's, uh, you notice H1 is in the uh, office doing something, holding some papers and glancing at them. Okay, knock on the door. Miss H1, you there? And the door just opens on its own. Oh, come in, uh, Mr. Wu. All right, slide into the room, take a seat, kind of perch up on the seat, smiling. So I uh, thought you could uh, give me a little bit more advice about this whole scout thing. Uh, not really the role I had in mind, but I guess it makes sense. I'm just curious as to how you knew that it made sense. Uh, you notice that she hasn't looked up since you entered the room. She's just still glancing at the papers and putting them in different piles. Uh, I only offered some insight. Mr. Regulus was the one who made the final decision. Okay, I'm not concerned with the old man. What was your insight? And she looks up at you. You're quick. Uh, that's it? My speed? Pretty okay. much. All right, I want to, uh... Actually, no, I'm gonna... Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Instead instead of that, I'm gonna put uh, my staff on the table real quick. So, just my swiftness is all that did it? I mean, there's nothing else? You know that my fighting style isn't really all that suited towards being a scout. She looks at you for a, for a longer than you would have thought. You're interesting. Oh, really? So are you. As a matter of fact, you're probably the most interesting person I've met since I got here. What's under the mask, H1? She just looks at you for it feels like 20, 30 seconds. I mean, you're assuming she's looking at you. Mm hmm. That is none of your business. Although, I will answer if you allow me to do one thing. Uh, what would that be? And she's looking at you, and you feel, you feel like there are eyes under there looking over at you. I like some music here. And she gets up out of her chair walks around the desk and kneels down next to you uh miss h1 what are you doing i i mean and she she places her doing, hand doing. on your chest um uh i i mean and you feel this like heat where her hand is but when you look down you don't see anything but you you feel you feel it's not anything bad you're not freaking out but almost like this warmth passed through you what are you doing you have four no five others I uh, just I jump back immediately how do you and here I thought you wanted to have a good time. I knew you knew something more. Who else knows? 
I didn't know until just now, and I still don't understand fully. But I do know there is something special about you, Kesaki Wu. You just call me Wu. How, how could you tell? What did, what, what did you just do? Is that part of being a scout too? I've never met a scout like you. No. It is only fair that I answer you, I suppose. I am a prototype made by the workshop. That is why I'm able to do some things that other rankers cannot. Huh. So, by prototype, you mean you're not human? I am human, but you do not want to see what lies under this mask. Actually, if I'm being honest, that was the whole reason I came here. I was going to kind of take that helmet off your head when you weren't paying attention, but now I'm even more curious. I mean, you, even if you don't understand, I'm not going to tell you. You know my secret, so I feel like it's only right that I know yours. I do not fully understand your secret, Mr. Wu. And I don't okay. fully understand yours. Just show me what's under the mask, H1. She looks at you for a long while. Maybe some other time. And she gets up. I'm assuming you don't have any other questions. And she goes back behind her desk. Actually, I did have a real scout-related question. But it was nice to get to know you any better. Feel free to touch my chest any time, by the way. Um, can you show me your observer? Perhaps that's tomorrow in class, Mr. Wu. I have work to get to. Alright, and I'm assuming that you're not going to tell anybody about what you saw. I have no reason to. Not even those that made you at the workshop? We're done here, Mr. Wu. Alright, uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank I just you. think to myself as I leave, that was the weirdest thing that's happened to me in ages. All right. You leave the office. I'm going to tag everyone here. Hello. Hello. Don't worry. It was PG. It's all good. Don't worry. I don't believe it. Never, it never got too crazy. Just trust me. I saw the arm. We're okay. Movie. Don't try. Something, <laughs> happened, something happened though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was PG. <laughs> JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who left? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Uh, uh, <coughs> Milios. Milios dropped. Milios! No! Uh, Ooh, I guess you're back. I think now. he was just joking, dude. I think he was just joking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. That makes more sense. Welcome back. Now Milios. I'm Woo. <laughs> <laughs> it, it tossed me an error message like right before it said, ah, oh. time to close out your Discord. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get, that was probably the same thing that happened to me. Uh, okay, so you all notice it's it's nearing, you know, 5.30, 5.45, Wu walks out of the doors. Do you head back to the cafeteria, Wu? Sure, I'll uh, check if anybody's still there. Um, I'm going to say... Did any of you want to stick around, or did you head back to your rooms after finishing your meal? I would like to go to the training hall. That's where Victor and I were headed, so... Right. Gasu? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I feel like Gasu would have gone to the training hall, but then seeing all the people in the training hall probably would have immediately turned around. <laughs> 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 he just is a... Should have said Gasu go to the training hall first. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, what about uh, you, Brack? Brock went to the training hall. He got to practice with the needle. <laughs> sure, sure. So, right. Wu, when you when you enter, and Shion goes as well, but Stexa doesn't. She's tired. Uh, Wu, when you enter, you notice there's a couple regulars there, but not anyone you would recognize. But you do hear sounds coming from the training hall. I'll take a peek in there. All right, you see practically everyone: Eden, Victor, Brack, Damien, Shion. They're all in there talking and preparing to to do something. Yo! What's up, guys? Oh, hey! How did uh, your tutor session go? Uh, let's just say I learned a lot. Hmm, care to elaborate? Eden is being way more glib than normal. Eden, 
I'm mm. being serious. Mm. I can't I am contain too. my laughter. <laughs> I'm I really so did curious. learn a lot. Really? Like I said, care to share with the class? I know we're not in your class class, but I'm curious. I mean, yeah, to be a curious. good... Yeah, to be a, a well-functioning team, we have to know what the other teammates know. So we work well, right? Exactly. Come on, man, the details. Hey, Victor's on my side on this one. Uh, Victor? <laughs> wow, shocking. <laughs> just, just, just be quiet, Victor. Nobody asked you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shion just says, did I miss something, or...? Oh, uh, Wu, do you, would you like to fill Shion in? Nothing happened. What are you guys doing with Trinity Call? Mm -hmm. Rock says to Shion, Wu went to go see if the teacher had good knowledge. I mean, is that what they call that? it nowadays? <laughs> Shion just really is that a good is the last time I've let Brack. I just wanted more information. <laughs> More information about this is probably Wu. the most flustered that Wu has ever been. Okay. I'm like, ugh, I just I just take out the gourd and take a sip. I'm like, I just wanted to see what you guys are doing. I'm I'm going back. Oh, stick around, Wu. Come on. Well, Eden. we have uh, wait. So so we have Eden, Victor, Brack, and we have me, Shion. and me, and Damien. So we could use one more person. Yeah. So we could each have a training partner. Yeah. All right, I guess all I did was sit around all day, but I'm only staying if Eden stops teasing me. Who says I'm teasing? I'm being <laughs> serious, 100%. Fine, I'll tell you <laughs> later. Can we just train? Sure. All I'll right. I'll promise. Okay, um, Brack, Shion goes up to Brack. Would you mind training with me? We're both getting used to these needles. Sure. But don't, don't, I, I don't know how to use this that well, and I hope okay. I don't hit you too hard. You don't have to worry about that. I can hold my own. She rolls up, you know, prepares to, to get some action. And then Victor goes, Eden, some spear Victor, training. let's go. I All gotta right. figure out how to, I keep getting stuck in doorways. Can't they make these just a little bit smaller? I mean, we'll eventually get an arms inventory. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, that day can't come soon enough. And then, uh... Yeah, looks like it's us. Yeah. Ah, uh, you'll fight anyway. Wait, me? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, praise Felger. Yes, you. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping I could get more confidia practice in. But all right. Oh, let's get started. Is that a freaking intentional? All right. So you all prepare to start training and you're, you know, getting your positions. Um, and at this point, Gasu, you are walking where exactly? Uh, Gasu is walking back towards his room or Tim okay. Wu's room. I'm going to, uh, I've been doing this a lot this episode. Ask everyone to mute except for Gasu. <laughs> Bye. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, Goss is dead. Sorry, you gotta make a new character. Like, it's just, it's not working out. I'm sorry. Honestly, bro, that's cool, because I was getting kind of tired of him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All that character development for nothing. That's just out of the game. Where will the mysteries go? Nobody will know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, as you're walking back towards your room, you're just wa you don't expect anything, you know, you don't see anyone else. You hear some noises coming from the common area, but that's about it. But you notice right outside your door, directly in front of the door is the hooded figure. Can I help you? And they're just standing there. Look, buddy, I just asked you nicely, and next time, it won't be so nice. You've got three seconds to get out of my way. Gasu Neymar. And the voice sounds strange, like you can't quite place it. You can't tell what kind of person is, is has this voice. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? 
Someone who knows. Knows what? It's love. Right? What are you talking about? The reason you're climbing this tower. Love. Right? And Gasu sort of instinctively puts his hand on his sword. All right. Like I said, I'm done asking nicely. I simply want to talk for one more minute. You have 30 seconds. Love is so ironic, isn't it? And the more this person talks, you start to feel this chill. And, you know, Gasu isn't a person to back down, but you you feel a little afraid as you start, as they sort of slowly turn towards you and maybe even take a couple steps. It's What's going absurd, on? What are you really? doing? It's, it's to the level where it's like hard for you to even talk, kind of. Love keeps you away, and yet you've come back for it. You lost everything because of love. And now you're fighting so hard to keep it away. Isn't that right, G Jock? <clears throat> is it like, is it difficult for Gasu to it's, move? Can he still at move At this his point, body? you can probably move now. That kind of woke okay. you up. Gasu like grabs his sword and, and pulls it out and swings, runs toward this man to, to cut him. Okay. On that. Right when you're about to like slash down, Suddenly, the person's no longer there, and now you feel their presence behind you. What? You, we'll talk again soon. And they start no. walking away. Hey, get back here! And they turn the corner. What the hell just happened? How, how does he know? find that guy can is he like could gasu try to pursue him yeah, when you try to when you turn the corner the person is no longer there what? what's going on uh and you see sponge hey you okay mister gasu like sort of out of nerves pulls his sword to the dude's neck <gasps> like on site what? Who? Don't kill me, please, please, please. I need to climb a tower. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. And then Gasu sort of retracts his sword. What the hell are you doing here? He just runs off. What's going on? Okay. We're going to cut back to the rest of the group. Oh boy. And we're back. You had a music change, bro? What what went what, down? <laughs> two, two music changes. Two music changes. Two music changes. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't about. know. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Gasu is messing with the three, um, an MP3 player, is all, you know? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, yeah. I'm burning, I'm burning Under. a playlist for the party. Seems <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna have to mute uh, roll 20 whenever we do that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you all are training. Um, I'm gonna say everyone just roll athletics, just for fun. Athletics. <laughs> we gotta have at least one roll this session. <laughs> Very <laughs> true. On, Very true. On, come on, come I did on. roll to intimidate Victor. That, that is that true. You roll. did. You that did. Jesus. And Milios rolled like a thousand roll before we started. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm rolling ath athletics, right? You just yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. I had to get the bad luck out there. Uh, let's see, athletics. That's plus five, so 19. Ooh. Seven. <laughs> I got 23. Okay. I'm here. Welcome back. Roll athletics, Vic, uh, Damien. Uh, Vic Damien. Two. Vic Damien. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> Vic Damien. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that's a ship name. Yep, what? that's a ship name for sure. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, we're <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four total. Four? All right. Woo, you said you got 20, what? 23. Okay. 
And then Brack? 19. Ooh. All right. There you go. So you all are training, and you're not taking this like 100% seriously. It's not like you're, you know, truly trying to, to take out the other person. But Eden, you're, you're training, you're trying to use the spear. He's trying to give you some advice. And he, he offers to do a little practice round. And like within three seconds, he knocks the spear out of your hands and it goes flying across the room. Ugh, I hate this thing. Mm. It's okay. He'll get used to it. It's fine. Uh, right, Brack? Your, your harpoon's basically a spear. You got used to it, right? It took a lot of pain. But yes, I did get used to it. Mm. See? It... Pain? 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 Why pain? pain? Victor, you want me in pain? I, I, <laughs> no, I, that's what Brack said. That... I, I didn't say that. That's <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> that's Brack's words, not mine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, she walks over and gets the spear. All right. Go again. All right. And then Wu and Damien, you're you're trading blows. You know, you, you're actually sticking with your original weapons. So uh, unless did you did you want to pick up some needles or do you are you using your weapons? Um, yeah. I'm let's I'm let's let's use some needles because right. like, oh. I feel like it makes more sense for the outcome. Oh, cool. For oh, sure. All right. <laughs> Dejectedly. All right. Okay. So. You start trading blows, and Wu, you easily start overpowering Damien uh, within the first part of the training session. Uh, and you also knock his needle out of his hand. Uh, well played, Wu. Well played. What's going on, Damien? You're not moving as well as you normally do. I have a lot on my mind. Um, another round? Sure, why not? And then Brack, Shion is definitely, you know, trading blow for blow. And you notice even times where, like, it's, like, pure strength against each other. And she's holding you uh, off. But you do start to get the upper hand on her. And she kind of holds up her hand. Sorry, I need a breath. I need a breather. You fight well. I, even for something that I don't use that much, you are still keeping up with me. It's hard. I'd rather just use my hands. Uh, I'd rather use my harpoon, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> let's let's continue. Sure, sounds good to me. And while you keep training, uh, three individuals walk into the room. Uh, oh. Slurks, the spear guy, Vlazer, the gun guy, and Cal Silvers, leading <gasps> the trio, enter the room. And you just hear his voice go, well, 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 look who we have here. Was somebody talking, Victor? I could have swore I... No, I think it was just the floor it, squeaking. No, maybe you. it's like raining outside or something. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, well, let's keep going. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> while, while me and Wu are fighting, it's like, whoever's talking, shut up. We're trying to fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, is that blazer I see? You learn to aim yet? Damn. I'll, I fixed my gun, so you'll see me in action soon enough. Brax in the back one. Using ha! <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be using a, an actual spear, though? Like, the rest of us? Your gun I'm sure they're just saying good. that, you know. For the final test, we're going to be using our real weapons anyway. Oh, what do you know about the final test, Hi. Cal? Mm -hmm. That was Blazer who said Oh, that. okay. How do you know that, Blazer? It's if obvious. your aim is as good as your predictions, then I wouldn't trust you too well. <laughs> Victor goes, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Cal just, Cal this time, he's keeping his cool. Don't let them get to you guys. They're nothing but oh, worms Oh, Cal, anyway. you're here? Oh, who? shocking. You knew you're actually I was gonna here, put into work? Eden. You're I had no, Victor, well, did, did you see? <laughs> I never saw him. Did you see him? You know, I just noticed him now, but I guess he is kind of a, you know, he's a skinny guy. It's easy to prove that. Yeah, he's different pretty small. When he's clean shaven, I'll give you that. From Very across the room. True. If you okay. wanted to talk, Cal, you could have gone to the common area, not the training hall. As I'm, <laughs> I keep losing to Wu. Good one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the frustration. <laughs> she only says, "Guys, we're here to train, aren't we? Not argue." To to you. We were all. arguing. <laughs> Who said we were arguing? Let's continue, Victor. <laughs> and I get back into a stance. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> and the other three get a, you know, they go to another side of the room and start their own. Their training seems to be kind of weird. They're they're like training a couple blows and then they start looking over at you and giggling and talking. Oh, they just wanted a free show. I guess you know, we can give them some charity work tonight. 
Actually, it might be more interesting if we train against them, you know? We're all kind of familiar with everybody's movesets here, but... You know, not too much about them. Maybe Cal can actually back up his words. Maybe. Yo, Cal! Uh... Hey, what's up, Wu? Uh, Finally recognized my class. glory? Well, that remains to be seen. Maybe we should go for a quick round. A quick round, huh? And he looks over his friends. One on one, this time. Looks at Eden and Victor. Oh! Cal, you want to actually have a one on one duel? I thought you just tried to roast me earlier for saying that that was a cheap way to end the crown game. Now you want to do a one on one duel? You do is it, realize. Is it good for you? He waits patiently. Are you done, Eden? I'm you never do done. realize. Apparently not. Keep running your mouth. <laughs> oh, but All I've right. actually backed it up. That's the thing. Haven't you realized or questioned why Boris was on my team out of all the teams? The poor because schmuck probably just got a bad pull. It's because I'm stronger than him. And I have what he wants. Oh, and whatever could that be, Cal? Talking about Cal, you told me that he was the strongest one on your team. Now you're going to make up Aside some nonsense Aside from me, about idiot. I also seem to recall that you bragged about him being a th the member on your team from the 10 great families. And then all of a sudden during the crown game, you seem to have somebody else. Um, Flurks, Blazer, are you from the 10 families? Or was he just, you know, kind of talking uh, out of the other side of his mouth? The, uh, and they just look over at him. You know, oh, no, 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 no. If you Don't beat let me, him I'll talk. tell you. Don't let him talk for you. You are. If you beat me, I'll tell you what I meant by that comment. Well, whatever you've said so far is a lie, so how can I even trust it true? Woo, you and me. And he grabs a needle, using needles. <laughs> Eden, you, you mm. okay with this? I feel like you want to have a go at it too, but I can teach him a lesson. I don't think he deserves to fight me yet. Have fun. And she kind of takes right. a seat on the bench Cal. and crosses her leg just to watch. All right. Sounds good. They get into position and Slurks and Blazer are like, you can do this, Cal. Come on. Yes. Go, Cal cheerleaders. Keep keep egging him on. And I try and uh, He's in full knock the needle out of his hand before we engage? Um... So you're like going in and like going right for the needle? I'm gonna do it just playfully before we even do anything. Oh, sorry, I get it. Uh, sure, yeah. he's like looking over at Blazer and them and you just hit the needle and it falls out of his hand. He looks Woo, over at you. Woo, good Oops. job, Cal, uh, way to start. He picks it up. Mr. Peanut is not going to survive. <laughs> you ready, Woo? Whenever you are. Someone give us a countdown. Three, two, one, go. And he goes in kind of uh, flustered by everything. All right, we're not gonna have a whole battle, but roll initiative, Woo. We're up, not safe. You go first. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. No Get him, Blue. Three, two, and I actually, go. we're not gonna have like, cause we're using needles, so I can't really use my techniques, huh? No. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a sweep attack at his legs. Okay. Go ahead and roll. And you're not proficient with it, so you just add your attack to to this. You can choose attack or dexterity for needles. Okay. Uh, wait, attack or dexterity or yep. strength or dexterity? Uh, okay, I mean, strength and dexterity, that's my bad. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm gonna go at 14. That hits. Go ahead and roll for damage, which will be uh, 1d6 plus strength or dex. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with strength 6. Wait, uh, what's your strength modifier? Plus 5. It is? Mm hmm. 
What the heck? I don't. I didn't think. I didn't know that. What the heck? All right. Because oh, you rolled a one. I was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does that I mean, my strength and wisdom is really good. Wait, you have wait. So you have twenty strength. Ah. Uh, let me see. I thought I thought you had pretty even strength of dex. Oh no, I'm tri I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Okay. 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 For so three. Three. Like, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You're good. You're good. Okay. So you go ahead and you hit Cal in the legs, and he's surprised by your speed, and you hit him in the shin. So I. He kind of hops Ow. for a second. Oh, you're asking for it. And he swings his needle and you easily block it. Go ahead and roll again. Your turn. Oof. Six. Okay, this time he blocks the needle. He goes in for his own attack. You sidestep it easily and you go in for another attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? You oh, rolled no. Oh, oh no! Uh, that That's no. okay for the viewers watching. Wu just rolled a one. No. Damn. So I'm gonna say you were so excited and caught up in this fight that you, for a second, lose your grip slightly on the needle, and he's gonna go for the needle here with his attack. And when he smacks it as hard as he can, you weren't used to the grip. You were used to your own staff, and he knocks it out of your hands. And it hits the ground a few feet away from you. Damn, damn. He holds the sword up. He holds the needle up to you. Not bad, Cal. Not bad. I, I win, right? Uh, can I roll for sleight of hand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big box, no whammies. Come on, come on. Come on. Thirteen. I don't know if that's gonna be it. I'm gonna roll for him. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to reverse loom. Like you're trying to grab his needle? Mm -hmm. Or I'm gonna say yeah. you you grab and he definitely didn't expect it. And he starts kinda struggling with you for a second. And the struggle you break apart, he keeps his needle, but you manage to get some distance away from him. Alright. I grab my needle in that time. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna say he gets the attack here. Go for it. And he completely misses as he's emotional and you duck the attack. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a straight blow to the body. Okay, going in. Hopefully you don't roll one this time. Oh, oh my gosh. god, dude. You gotta get some physical dice, dude. I don't know Eight. what it is about roll 20. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't agree with me on to playing dice games, man. <laughs> right. All right, so he rolled a six, so Cal blocks it this time. He's starting to get a little tired. He goes in for another attack. Does a 17 hit? I think it would. Yeah, it does. So this time he does uh, six damage to you as he hits you on the side of your arm. Come on. All right. Definitely lose a little bruise. Damn, this, this fighting with a needle is harder than I thought, man. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh, Are you serious? Oh he rolled a two. Oh my god. Alright, you miss, but nothing bad happens. He just sidesteps it and he starts laughing. So this is your teammate, huh? He says to Eden. Child's play. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't have my weapon, but I'm about to use body reinforcement, bro. Okay, well he's gonna go for his own attack. Take three more damage as he <laughs> hits that you. That works. That works. Really quick. All right. So um, suddenly, Wu, your, your body coats in Shinsu. Uh, three turns. Um, and then I roll for that. Okay, I got it, got it. All right. Come on. I'm going to try um, another straightforward attack to the body. Okay. Yeah! All right, there we go. Funny. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely hits. Okay. All high right. damage, high damage, high damage. D6. Five. Five, okay. So you hit the needle out of the way and hit him right in the chest. <laughs> he kind of coughs for a second. <sighs> Not bad. He goes for his own attack. He does manage to hit again. Ooh. Okay, I gotta... Um, right, right. So roll a d4. Yep. Alright, so minus two. So you take five as he Ooh. hits you again with the needle, this time kind of in the side of the head. Mm. You're using Shinsu, huh? 
Uh, I guess you could say that. Just give up. I win. I've Why? used wheels all my life. And what does that mean to me, Cal? You're dancing around like a fool out here. I haven't even gotten started yet. And you hear Blazer, and they're just like cheering for him. Alright. But I'm gonna go for an attack at his hand. You roll a total of 11? Yep. Keep in mind, you can use dex, because I think your dex might be higher. It is. Oh, no, for needle, right? Yeah, yeah. I haven't been using it the whole time. Yeah, it's one okay. higher. Okay. Well done. Okay. He, bar he barely manages to block it. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, this time he misses as he swings his needle and you dodge. Alright. Um. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna give me any. I was gonna go for like a crazy athletics maneuver, but I don't know if that's gonna help me if I can't use any techniques. Sure, sure. Never mind. Alright, so 16. I'm going okay. straight for the head. Okay. You sidestep his needle, and then you knock it out of the way, and <laughs> hit him in the side of the head. Go ahead and roll damage. Add plus uh, three. Uh, oh. Four. Oh. Four. Okay. <clears throat> you hit him in the side of the head. <sighs> How is everyone else responding to this? All this that's happening. Eden is watching with... <laughs> she was more amused at the start, and now is kind of just, like, more neutral. Are sitting with her legs crossed, just watching. Sure. You notice Cal is particularly getting tired out, and he completely misses this time and kind of stumbles. What's the matter, Cal? Don't have a lot of stamina. I've got plenty of stamina. All right. Whatever you say. That All time right. you do hit. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so these four. these picks are killing me. Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. Four, four, four. But still, four, you hit the four. side. Of, you hit him again. Cal, you okay? Do you yield, Cal? No. Nah. <laughs> and he kind of puts his sword as if where his sheath would be, and like closes his eyes. Oh no 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 cheating! He's using Shinsu, they say about Wu. And? And? What do you want to do, Cal? Right here. Right, your turn. I'm using another body reinforcement because I think that was the end of my. Oh, uh, good call, yep. Oh, uh, my arrow. Alright. Alright, 10. You try to attack him, but then. you, you For a second, you. He managed to dodge out of the way in the sheath, but you get the feeling that it may have been better that you missed. Okay. You kind of get this vibe from him. Something something inside you is like telling you. And I, uh... Whispering to you. And I roll investigation to figure out what his yeah. technique does. Sure. Oh. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, oh my goodness! You need some, Damn, dude. Mom. He rolled a two. <laughs> you have no idea what it is. But he stay. He keeps standing there. Keeps holding that position. Can I use perception to try and see what he's doing? Um, sure. Okay. It's not gonna be as specific. Oh no, nope, like that's a no. I rolled a two as well. Hey, we we're, we're, we're friend, <laughs> friends <right>. together. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Dang it. <laughs> All right. So he's, he's still standing there. He's yeah. not gonna do it. Okay. Nope. Um. I'm gonna try and. Can I can I can I try and like jump behind him and sure. trip him up? With Roll acrobatics. acrobatics. I I quit. I give you up. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Of course. I give up. Oh, I think Cal programmed this dice roller. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, no. We're clearly been bugged out here. Uh -huh. well, I didn't try to attack him though, so there's that. Well, this does work. <laughs> and this, I was planning on doing this anyway. Right Whoa. when you're about to. Wait. Is it, is it actually bugged? Wait, br Milios just rolled two two <laughs> d20s and got a one. Both. I times. think it might be bugged. <laughs> you just got two ones in a row. I'll try another one, dude. 
Okay, no, it's, it's oh, fine. It's, it's fine. No, it's, it's just, just luck. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey. Nah, Maybe luck. Yeah, well, nope. I'm not in this. That's so weird. <laughs> that is weird. So, Carry uh, on. Okay, so Wu, <laughs> right as you go for this attack, you're about to like get behind him and jump behind him, and it seems like things are going well, but then from the entrance of the cafeteria, you hear, or of the training hall, you hear, Mr. Wu? And suddenly that like throws you off, and Cal whips around and psh, hits the needle out of your hand and then smacks you again across the chest. How much damage is that? It's gonna be six more damage. Alright, I'm not dead, but at hearing that, I lose all interest in Cal. I'm like, alright, buddy, you got this one. And I just leave him there. And he's like, kind of tap my shoulder as I walk off. He, he, he won! He won! And, you know, they Eden don't is, care about who Eden, spoke. Yeah, Eden lost all interest and she rushes over to leave. Leaf! Hey! And she looks sleepy, but she's like in her bed gown, just kind of watching what's happening. Is everything okay, Mr. Wu? Uh, don't worry about them. They're, they're whatever. How are you feeling? I feel really good. I, I feel like I'll be ready for class tomorrow. That's good to hear. Did you find your room? Yeah, the, the nurse told me. Um, what was it again? Uh, she told me my roommate was someone, uh, Stexa from my, from King of the Sea. So, oh, I'm a roommate. Stexa did Do you That's want us it. to walk you there? Yeah. We'll go with you. By the way, I don't think you guys have actually talked yet, but this is my friend Eden. Um, Hi, and even kind of like gets down on any, kind of gets to her level. Hi, um, I'm Hi. I'm Leaf. I'm Eden. It's nice to meet you. And she yawns. Oh. I know you're tired, but let me just introduce you to the rest of my friends real quick. I'm sure they'll take good care of you. We'll Over all there, take good care of you. That's Brack. Uh, you met oh, him before. Yeah, the nice man. Hi, Mr. Brack. What's up? I just they didn't I just, win. I whispered to Eden, nice when you give him strawberry drink. <laughs> what did I, I, I cut out? I didn't get to hear you. Oh, I said nice when you give him strawberry drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And oh, I know. And then Shion comes over. It's good to see you, Leaf. This was our, my leader during the King of the Sea. This is Shion. She's really oh, nice. Oh. I didn't know that. That's awesome. And it was me, Stex, and Leaf, and a couple others. Amari and someone else. Oh. And last but not least, this is Damien. Victor goes, Hello. And, oh, yeah. and for, this is Oh, Victor. I forgot, forgot, forgot about you, Victor. I forgot that you were there. My bad. Like, Victor. He lightly kicks Wu in the leg, like, you being bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 that correct myself. Victor, come over here. I give like an Leaf. awkward half smile and wave. Sure, sure. Uh, I look at I tell Leaf, Damien's the one that got you the sign can. Oh. And she looks she kinda hesitates. Thanks. And I just nod my head. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna take Leaf back to her room now, guys. Um, yeah. There's nobody else in this in this room worth meeting, by the way. So just no. keep your distance from everyone else here. Oh. Uh, okay. And Gasu, I mean Cal, <laughs> Gasu is uh, whispering to his buddies, and they're like, he's they're clapping him on the back, but he's just like, <sighs> like very out of breath. <laughs> but Wu looks pretty uh, pretty fine overall. A couple bruises. Leaf, do you? Feel strong enough to walk to your room, or do you want one of us to carry you? I'll be fine. I can walk. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And then Shion goes, well, I guess that's enough training for today. I think so. It is getting pretty late. And Damien, you receive a, a notification. Well, you already received it earlier because you, respond, you, you responded. So, oh, I forget. Res uh, uh, boom, there we go. Check chats if you need to check chats, people. Okay. Uh, we got some messaging going on. Um, so, I walk over to you, yes. Cal. I tell him, yes, good, good win, man. But it doesn't feel like 
You don't feel like you won, though, did you? Oh, it feels so good. I wanted to show him what for for so long. Really I know. Did. You know, if you just drop the antag, the antagonistic way that you speak to people, I'm sure that people would probably treat you more like a friend. I don't want friendship. What about I want to these climb guys? This tower. Are they not your friends? They kind of look over at him. They're my allies. And they look kind of like, oh, <laughs> when he says that, a little bit. Well. Anyway, we're out of here. I, I don't have time to waste talking to a frog. All right. <laughs> well, I wish you and your allies the best of luck. And they just, he kind of shakes his head and they walk out of the, the room. As they're leaving, Brock says, Mr. Peanut, next time, don't forget your stash. He leaves it alone. <laughs> <laughs> she looks perplexed. It's the kind of thing that, like, he'll wake up in the middle of the night and go, "Oh!" That <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brock only said that because of how he talked to Damien. That—that's the only reason. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. So you all, uh, Shion goes back to her room. You know, anyone want to walk, help with Leaf? I mean, they're just heading back to the room. Um, I'm just gonna stay yeah, going to stay standing in the training hall for a moment. Perfect. Okay. So, okay, you all head back. You get to the room, and Stexa opens it. Leaf, uh, it's about time. Is she doing okay? She tells you all. Asks you all. Yeah, she was released from the infirm. Oh, well, thank goodness. Uh, come yeah. on. There's a bed all for you. Sexa, take good care of her, okay? Don't worry. I, I got her. I literally put my head on Sexa's shoulder. Take extra good care of her. Or tomorrow in class, I'm going to make sure you get called on all day. <laughs> she, she immediately starts shaking. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And she shuts the door. What All right, you... Leaf. Get to the, it. Don't worry about it. Okay. And then you just, you know, right as the door is shutting, good night, mister. And it shuts. Oh. Uh, she'll be fine. Sex is gone. Yeah. Her. Yeah, sex seems like a good... A good girl. So, uh... Eden... Mm. I'm gonna need you to stop teasing me, so I'm just gonna... I'm not teasing you. Uh, the... The tone in your voice says otherwise. Oh. Uh, can I just, I'll just tell you what happened. I'm all ears. Do you want it to be, if you want it to be we private, have to, just we let have, me know. We have to mute it, we have to mute it. All right, everyone oh. mute except for Wu and Eden. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is my first mute session. Yay. Oh, <laughs> this is exciting. So when I said that I learned some things, I really meant it. I'm not joking, nothing happened. She didn't okay. do anything to me. Mm -hmm. I promise. All right. So, she has an ability to read people somehow. And apparently she's been augmented by the workshop. Really? That's what she said. I couldn't get any more out of her than that. Huh. I Did she know go into this ability of how to read people? No. But I can promise you that it's pretty accurate. She didn't. She only got basic information. She didn't get the whole gist of it. But still, it was spooky. It's like she saw into my soul. I don't mean this to be prying, but is there anything you want to share with about what she got a read on you? For? <sighs> if you don't want to, I totally understand. Is that? Let's that honestly just, freaks me out a little bit. There's nothing that you gotta worry about. Let's just say I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Okay. Good tricks, I hope? Uh, I guess... All I'll say is it's... Something that could have aided us quite a bit before, but... If I'm being honest, I have a rule against using it. Understandable. Anything else about her? I mean, being augmented by the workshop is... Yeah, the, the obvious. You saw her. Come on, Eden. 
you were kind of right. I went there for other reasons, but we yeah, got, I got information. Yeah, you're, you're, okay. Well, maybe her reading ability isn't so out of left field because, I mean, you know. Actually, now that you mention it, maybe it has something to do with human emotion. Maybe. Hmm. I'll yeah, your motives, your, your, your motives were a little trans, but that's okay. You know, I've been there. She kind of like elbows him. All right. Well, just keep this to yourself for now, please. Understandable. Thanks for confiding in me and letting me know. And yes, the teasing will stop. Unless we're alone, and then I might roast you. You know, just for funsies. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. I'm glad Leaf is better, though. That's it's definitely a weight off, both, I think, both of our shoulders. Me too. Me too. Hopefully, Gasu keeps an eye on her during class tomorrow. Gotta he talk better. to her about that when I get back. Yes, please do. He's so reclusive. It's... <clears throat> getting annoying at this point i love him but like jeez i think he just keeps a wall up he has more secrets than even i thought <laughs> you thought i had a lot of secrets i can't even get through to him <sighs> i've tried so many times I'm just well we got to keep trying yeah. i've been there he needs somebody i've been there more than he knows and being able to talk can actually help more than it hurts. To somebody trusted, of course, but, you know. You're telling uh... me <laughs> I didn't talk to anybody for the first 15 years of my life. Really? Yeah. Like, you didn't speak, speak, or you didn't, like, confide in people? A little bit of both. Wow. I didn't have the opportunity to interact with anybody. So you were alone? Yeah. Did and you... trust me when I tell you, being alone, and forcibly so, makes you crave nothing more than doing whatever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want. <laughs> well... I definitely know what... And I don't wish it on anyone. Yeah, well, got you guys now, so... Let's yeah, try our best. Definitely. It definitely is a... Some balm to the soul. All right, Eden. Well, have a good night. Hey, you too. And uh, see you tomorrow and get get some good rest. Will okay. do. You separate, heading to your respective rooms. And I'm going to ask that Wu mutes, but Eden stays. Oh. Uh, bye. <clears throat> so as you're heading back to your room, Eden... You, you're walking there and not thinking much about... Are you heading back to your room? Is that where you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Kind of lapsadaisically heading that direction. Not. She's not directly going there. She's kind of taking an evening walk to... Sure, sure. You're, you're, you're walking up the stairs, you know, and suddenly at the top of the stairs, you see someone. Mm. And... You can tell it's the hooded figure. Oh. And they're standing outside of your room. Eden kind of like bristles like, oh, I didn't want to face this person again. Not, not now. But she's also very curious about them. Sure. Uh, can I help you? Eden, correct? And you, the voice sounds as if it's hard to place. Like, a, almost like a bunch of different voices, but at the same time, it's one voice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Revenge. That's why you're what about the tower, it? right? And you feel this chill go down you as you feel almost even afraid to talk or move. Can I tell if this is like an ability they're using on me? More just that their presence. It's like their presence. Okay. Suddenly under the, under the hood, you feel like something is, there's something there that scares you. 
Okay. I'm climbing the... T- I'm climbing the tower for many reasons. Such a Why do you want to know? <laughs> but that's why. And you, you feel, you feel almost like afraid to talk at this point. <sighs> Selfish, but that's why I was drawn to you. Selfish, but it fits you. And what have you done with that revenge but replace the family you lost? And you, you're just more and more starting to just freeze up. And suddenly they're like way closer to you than you thought they were. What would Farlin say? And instinctively Eden just goes to like uppercut the person. Sure, sure. You break out of the zone and you try to go for it and suddenly they're behind you instead of in front of you. We'll talk again soon. And they start to walk down the stairs. And she just kind of like drops to her knees and is like, she's visibly like shaken how she was the other night. Okay. And... I don't know if anybody's in the door, but she are in the room, but she like shakily just knocks on the door. Okay, no one answers. I'm gonna bring everyone together, but you don't have to share the the info. Yeah. But we're just gonna Roger Dodger. Oh my god! I told you we're gonna have a few today. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Cloaky, Cloaky is plotting, dude. Cloaky up to no good. Red flags all the way. Uh, terrified, man. Okay, we're gonna go for a little bit longer, uh, but we're gonna wrap it up here soon. Um, at this point, Brack, you said you went back to your room, or where were you heading? I'm going back to my room. Yes. Okay, yeah. Victor tags along with you, just kind of <laughs> walking with you. Whew, that was some training, huh? It, it was it was good enough. The, the 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 little girl she surprised me. That Wasn't leaf? expecting her to be so quick. No, not Leaf. We, uh, oh, she own. Yes. Don't underestimate her, man. She's she's scary. She's okay. And as you're walking towards your your room, suddenly from down the stairs you see the hooded figure walk past you. And you kind of get this, like, odd feeling as they walk past you. Man, he's just sniping the competition right now. <laughs> but they, just, they don't stop or anything. They just walk past you. I just look at them. Like, as they're going across, I'm just looking at them. I'm like... The sight one. And... I don't say anything to Victor. I'm just kind of like frozen up a little bit. And then I'm guessing they eventually leave, right? So once they leave, yeah. I'm kind of back to my normal self. Okay. Let's continue walking towards the room. That guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't want to go near him yet. Yeah, can't blame you. Anyway, I'm pooped for the night. Um, water's head to bed. Yeah, but I got a question for you, uh, uh, Victor. Yeah, what's up? What did you and Gasu talk about? That was private. Sorry. Private, huh? You know, I offered to break your legs for him, and he he denied it. Uh, <laughs> funny one. Hey, one Brack, you're always one to crack good jokes. Let's head to bed. Let's head to bed. Come on. I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I offered to crack your legs for him, and he said no. So I take it he didn't want violence. He wanted to commune. Now, what did you guys talk about? Oh, you know, tonight's not the night, man. It was just some personal drama. You know how, you know how Gasu is. 
Man's got thorns everywhere. Just, uh, just, just don't worry about it. You know? Uh, yeah, he, he, he normally doesn't talk, but what did you talk about with him? All right, Brack. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> ah. Sleep with one eye open, buddy. Oh my god. I pat him on the back. Because <laughs> I brought oh. to him. Bro. Right. <laughs> the only person who has it worse than Bulwark is Coon. No. <laughs> worse than Coon Victor is Bulwark. That's true. He did tell Bulwark that the only good thing he could do was die. So. Dang. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm. All right. So, Damien, we're going to cut back to you. I'm still in the training hall. I'm yep. just kind of reflecting on things. But most of all, I'm glad Leaf is okay. I just, you know, I didn't feel like I deserved to be there. And everyone was crowding around her. Sure, sure. So I'm just and you sick. did respond back to the text you received. Did the person you responded to respond back? Try to keep this oh. as vague as possible. Um, but no. you're just waiting in the training hall, correct? I'm just, I'm just waiting there. Oh, but that's not where I'm supposed to meet. Got gotcha. you. Okay, well, just I'll, I'll head to the place I'm supposed to meet. I didn't get any sort of message back, though, to my knowledge. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay. So I did send a response. Yep. Yep. Cool. So you make your way towards your room, and you, you're just going, you know, everything's totally normal. Um, and Eden, at this point, are you in your room? No, she's still on the ground outside, like on her knees. So I'm going to say it is about 9 p.m. Uh, Damien, you, when you climb up the stairs, you just see Eden on her knees in front of the room. I, I rush over. I ask, are you okay? And I try and help her up. Damien? Damien, who was that scythe guy? Who was the guy in the hood? Flux Volk, he, he's in my class. What do you know about him? Not much, but he, he knows about my dad, though. I'm going to say at this point, Gasu, you also just enter upon this. You can continue the conversation, but... And she has, like, vi she's visibly been just, like, weeping. Like, just tears all over her face. I really have no clue who that guy is. He knew about my husband. Um... How? Are, are you guys talking about the hooded guy? Yeah. I... I... Damien. Bring her inside. All three of us need to talk. All right. And Eden, Eden lets Damien just like come however he wants to get her in the room. Just she's just sure. kind of limp at this point. Sure, sure. And you enter the room, and as you prepare to talk, I'm gonna say, Damien, Brack, and Wu. You feel suddenly. You you feel this this pressure, almost as if someone's watching you, but when you turn around, whether you're in your room or hallway or whatever, no one seems to be there. And we're going to end the episode there. No! Because Bruh. I think if I don't, I think if I don't, we're just going to go on. 15 more minutes! Then let's go on. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then let's go on. 15 minutes! What's this, the is a good, this is a good cliffhanger. This is a good oh, cliffhanger. Okay, S We've been going quite long lately. So, I see yeah. how it is. Oh, son, you're still muted, by the way. My bad. I'm saying <laughs> fine. We just got to wait three weeks. It's a good yeah. cliffhanger. <laughs> Unless... <laughs> We can twist Joe's arm into doing a New Year's Eve. No, 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 no. I know oh, some of us can't boy. make it. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the Christmas-themed episode. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that cloak man? I don't know, but I have a tree in my room. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. Well, that was fun. The tree is work, very dude. mysterious. That was tense, bro. I'm glad Cloaky is a light bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Not hey, song. I tried to punch him and he went behind me. Yeah, Cloaky got, got moves, bro. Cloaky I did not moves. expect uh, Cloaky to uh, 
he's uh, he i don't know like he's just systematically uh going after the the squad here bro yeah i don't like that hmm. I, like I really don't like it Something. That's glad Cloak ain't make a move on Brack yet. Brack is Brack is safe for right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's safe. Just too late, that man gonna have night Oh no! <laughs> no oh safe. shoot, the PTSD is gonna kick in. Oh, no. I just love that like most Whoa. of the party is like some version of like cautious or terrified of this guy, and Damien's like, "Hi, friend." Yeah. <laughs> like, completely not in oh. the know of what's going on. <laughs> yeah, just out of none. And he's like the one that like sit, ha spends the most time with him in class. <laughs> not until that one moment where he talked about my dad. What the hell's going on with this guy? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. And Joe did his home. Joe did his home. That's what's going on. More, more importantly, but okay, here, okay, here's my question for chat and you guys to sit on, right? More importantly, why are we so special that both him and Regulus are so concerned with us? Ooh. That's, uh, that's a very good question. Mmm. Well, we, we did win the first game. We lost the crown it's game. It's deeper than that, though, bro. Like, it seems like, you know? It feels weird to me. Yeah, it seems like yeah. they know more about like all of our past and be something about that is like what's triggering their interest. It, right. it has nothing to do with like what we've done since well, getting the tower. That, because Ooh. Regulus asked us about our past. Yeah. Well, he just we asked. Didn't... He just asked if we, if any of us knew each other. Each what other, I'm saying yeah. is, what Honestly. I'm saying is, they might have information about who we were, who we used to be before the tower, mm. that like might be piquing their interest as to why we're climbing. Joe, why are you sinking out of frame, sir? I don't want to yes. give away any facial expressions. <laughs> Joe's like, what? I'm fair, not trying fair. to leave the stream. What are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not a part of the No stream. facial emotions. No, nothing. <laughs> I won't give them anything. <laughs> Joe, at so some point, Joe's just going to have to start wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, dude, I honestly might have to. Game, dude. Because there's been a couple times this past couple episodes where someone says something serious, but like I know, so I smile and I'm like... Dude, this is, <laughs> I can't give anything away. <laughs> Someone well, mentions a family and I start man. smiling and I'm like, dude, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Oh, man. But uh, that was a great episode. I mean, you know, we ah. got through the first day of classes, um, which is an important day to establish. Um, Leaf's back. That's great. Yay. You know? True. Uh, true. We, we had some moments with Cal. We, we got a lot of the side character and test administrator interactions, which were really, really fun. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate you sticking around. If you haven't already done so, leave a like on the stream as it does really support the series. So if you like Towers and Gods and you're here every week and you, you can't wait for the next episode, it would really, we would really appreciate it if you did so. Join the Discord, you can submit your own memes and fan art, and don't forget to follow these people because they're all really fun, really talented individuals. Their links are all down below. Uh, we'll and be back also, in three weeks. Yeah, in three weeks. and. Over these three weeks, feel free to catch up and rewatch the entire series to catch yourself up or just get started on the streams. That's an option. Mm -hmm. And you can join know. us in the new year. Maybe, we can't let maybe, you leave if you ain't someone... caught up on uh, Towers and Gods. Yeah. <laughs> maybe someone <laughs> dies in the one of the earlier episodes. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, we actually had a sixth party member who's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> Episode yeah. zero, forever lost. I don't you just wanna, have to watch. You have to I watch don't want to say out. anything, but <laughs> actually, I'm multiple people you. died, though, right? When I really think about it, <laughs> a lot of yeah, there were some fatalities. I killed some dude. You you all killed some dudes. Like, <laughs> we, let's not we, forget. Yeah, we did. We did. Like we some did. of them in cold blood. May I remind you? <laughs> not that. Bad. Good times, though. <laughs> Good times. Happy Good memories, time. man. But seriously, feel free to catch up or just get started on the series. You got time to catch up over the holidays and join us in the year. Absolutely. I have another idea. I have a great idea. Oh get boy. six get six people, pretend to be us. Do it every <laughs> week for Christmas. <laughs> and I'll watch it. Oh, we will watch it. Oh no. <laughs> and then I'll be um, like, yeah, Damien may, may, may probably possibly say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Joe, no. Sure. But uh, but anyway, we're going to take off here, but we'll see you in three weeks. Happy holidays to everyone who celebrates, and uh, we will see you when we come back in three weeks. Take see care. See you in a year. Bye. Who will live? Bye. Who will die? Find out and die.